Welcome to the fantasy audiobook, Crossing Luffy, Creating a Happy Ending in One Piece. Chapter 81 The Golden Mary had already arrived at the place where there would be an upwelling current near the preview meeting. Wait, wait a minute, the shouts of Kulikit and the two apes could be heard from afar. Mary controlled the ship to slow down. You are about to take the upwelling current to Sky Island, right? Can you help me do me a favor, help me prove to the world that Sky Island is real? Kulikit came closer on his ship, took out a notebook, and said earnestly. This is Rolando's notebook. He recorded in it that he found an island full of gold on the Grand Line. Rolando saw a special means of transportation, Weiba, on Sky Island. There are all kinds of strange items that cannot be seen in the sea. The most important thing is that even though no one believes it, he saw the golden bell. Luffy smiled. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are willing, we can take you to Sky Island. In response, Kulikit shook his head and refused. No need. Sky Island, we will definitely go there on our own. These two guys also regard Rolando as an idol. I will go to Sky Island with them in the future. Is that so? Luffy smiled and stopped forcing it. Instead, he said, Kulikit, where do you think the golden country that Rolando mentioned is? Where else can it be? Our Mont Blanc family has been looking for it for 400 years and has not found it. It is estimated that it is buried deep in the sea forever. Kulikit was a little confused. What if the gold is not on the seabed, but in the sky? Luffy raised the corner of his mouth. In the sky? What in the sky? Is there such a possibility? Kulikit was shocked. Luffy took the map of Gaia Island found by Robin and pointed it, then took Rolando's notes and compared them and said. Some bizarre legends. This is where we are now. But it seems a bit inconsistent, doesn't it? What is the treasure in the right eye of the skull? Legend has it that 400 years ago, a piece of land on Gaia Island was washed up into the sky. So is it possible that the one washed up into the sky is the other half of Gaia Island? Gaia Island originally had an indigenous people called the Shandia tribe, so where did they go? How could a race disappear so abruptly? Golden country it may not be sinking into the sea, but it has been floating in the sky. Kulik sat on his own boat. Don't die. You guys. The vortex has appeared. You can get into it. Human apes shouted. So, see, uncle. We will bring good news. Kulikit and the apes were stunned and tongue began to change the form, and even wings were growing, which fully adapted to the environment. Let's go. Straw Hat Adventure Team. Towards Sky Island. Luffy shouted. Oh, everyone showed excitement, and they all released their domineering aura to protect the Golden Mary. With the excited shouts of the Straw Hat Pirates, the Golden Mary disappeared into the bottomless whirlpool. A moment later, an upward current rushed straight to the sky and roared, pushing the Golden Mary up. You must succeed. You, Kulikit silently blessed. Left full rudder. Follow the direction of the current. Mary's eyes were shining with gold. Golden Mary, fly high. Everyone steadied the sails and their bodies, and rushed into a white world with a huge sense of push. The White Sea, 7,000 meters vertically from the sea, arrived. And the fact that is said by the world, almost no one believes in the existence, but it is there. Sky Island, because Sky Island is there. It is in the sky 10,000 meters above the sky. The Golden Mary arrived at the White Sea intact with the help of the rising current. Nami hummed a song, looked at the record pointer, and said excitedly. Here is the ocean above the sky, the White Sea. We have officially embarked on the journey to Sky Island. Under the Golden Mary, white clouds floated leisurely, and the endless White Sea made people feel relaxed and happy, quiet and peaceful. However, this White Sea was not as calm as it looked on the surface. Instead, it was full of dangers, which made people dare not be careless. Usopp was a little moved. Such a beautiful scenery, I really want to dive down to find out. But the warning of the observation hockey made him calm down quickly. This ocean is not simple. In a sense, it is even more treacherous than the Grand Line. Luffy, there is something in this White Sea. Usopp frowned and reminded. Well, there is no seabed in this place, but there are sea kings living under it. Luffy patted the dust on his body and said excitedly. Sure enough, several sea kings suddenly emerged from the White Sea, roaring, and wanted to attack the Mary. Sanji reacted quickly and immediately released his conqueror's hockey. Get out of here, you bunch of beasts. 
Don't get close to us. The sea kings immediately screamed in pain and fled. Luffy, this place, is very wrong. How can there be so many sea kings living here? Sanji's expression became a little serious. This place is probably similar to the hunting grounds of sea kings. You can see the broken wreckage of ships in the distance. Agent said with a sharp gaze. Then let's leave here quickly. Go to Sky Island. Vivi didn't like the solemn atmosphere here either. After the Golden Mary sailed for a distance, a huge octopus that covered the sky and the sun suddenly emerged and headed towards the Mary. This, this is too big. Nami exclaimed. Seeing this, Zoro randomly pulled out a knife and slashed out a sword. What a joke. If such a giant entangled the Mary, it would be troublesome. However, what puzzled everyone was that such a big octopus was cut in half by the sword energy, and it actually exploded with a loud bang, emitting thick gas. This, is the, sky fish mentioned in Rolando's notebook. Chopper touched his head. Well, the fittest survive, and the fittest survive. I'm afraid that the creatures here are all unique. Robin was very excited. Chopper held up a telescope and suddenly warned. Everyone be careful. Someone is coming. It doesn't look like they are here to welcome us. Luffy's heart moved. What kind of person is he? Chopper said. He has an agile figure. Wearing a strange mask carrying a huge cannon on his back, holding a shield, wearing a grass skirt-like outfit, and a strange device tied to his feet. The most eye-catching thing is that this person has a pair of wings behind him. Everyone's observation hockey also sensed the sudden attack of the mysterious man, and they all prepared to fight. Luffy grinned. This guy looks like this. It must be the Shandian warrior Wepper. Luffy quickly recalled the story about the Shandians on Sky Island in the original work. This Shandian warrior named Wepper is very aggressive. Because of his recklessness, the protagonists in the original work had to be distracted to deal with his affairs. In the original work, he attacked Luffy and his party indiscriminately. Although his starting point was to regain his homeland for his people, he couldn't be allowed to do whatever he wanted now. Of course, Wepper is also a descendant of the Shandian warrior Kalgra who formed an alliance and friendship with Rolando, the big liar, 400 years ago. In the original work, the Shandians in later generations fought a protracted war with the indigenous people of Sky Island in order to regain the Golden City. Moreover, Wepper would eliminate all outsiders indiscriminately and was very xenophobic. Seeing Wepper's aggressive appearance and clear hostility, Luffy didn't intend to hold back. Originally, adhering to the principle of less trouble is worse than more trouble, Luffy was unwilling to have a conflict with them. But now, Luffy's eyes turned cold. Ajin, suppress this man. Just don't kill him. Ajin rushed out quickly. Understood, Captain. Ajin was wrapped in armed color domineering and punched hard. The masked Weppa was stunned for a while, raised the cannon on his shoulder, aimed at Ajin and fired a shot, but Ajin rushed out of the cannon fire unscathed and punched him hard in the chest. The mask was broken, Weppa coughed up a mouthful of blood and couldn't get up again. The person who came was not kind, and what was waiting for him was naturally a heavy punch. Just as Ajin lifted the unconscious Weppa onto the Mary, an old but full-hearted voice sounded. Wait, show mercy. Stop here, outsider. Everyone squinted and looked into the distance, only to see a small black dot in the distance slowly enlarged. The man was wearing armor and holding a sharp weapon. His armor was shining like a knight. He pointed his sharp spear at everyone and rode a big pink bird. This is a man with a gray beard. The old man landed on the deck of the Mary quickly and smoothly and took off his helmet. Luffy chuckled from his throat and laughed softly, with a smile on his lips and eyebrows. If he remembered correctly, this person was the old god of Sky Island, Gone Fool. The old man raised his spear high, facing the sun, and said to everyone, a foreigner from Qinghai, I am Gone Fool, the Sky Knight of Sky Island. I just found out that this Shandian was going to attack you, and I wanted to help you, but I didn't expect you to be so good at fighting. The brave and warlike warriors of Shandia are no match at all. It's nothing, we just defended ourselves. This person came with great momentum, and he looked like a battle-hardened warrior, but he was full of flaws. Ajin hugged his arms and said lightly. Gon Fowl laughed dryly, not knowing how to answer, so he said. I wonder if you can do me a favor and let this Shandian go without killing him. Old man, we can let him go, we didn't intend to kill him, 
but you are a knight of Sky Island, why do you want to save the Shandian? Luffy chuckled. Gone Fowl said helplessly. Alas, you are Qinghai people. No wonder you don't know, although we have been fighting with the Shandians for many years, we also hope for peace. This man is a great warrior of Shandia, and we don't want to make a mortal enemy. Qinghai people, Nami asked. Qinghai people are our general name for people living under the sky. Gan Fao replied. Well, that's right, we came here by riding the rising current. Nami confirmed. Gan Fuer's eyes widened immediately. Upwelling current, it is said that no Qinghai people have dared to take this road for twenty years. You are really amazing. I really admire your courage. Gan Fuer took another deep look at the straw hat adventurers. According to common sense, you Qinghai people should have symptoms of discomfort when you come to the White Sea at an altitude of more than 7,000 meters. But I see that all of you have long breaths, without any disorder. You are really mysterious. Luffy and his crew smiled and said nothing. The absolute strength also gave them enough confidence. The next level up is the 10,000 meter high White Sea. You are going to Sky Island. This is for you. If you need help, blow this whistle. The reward is 5 million, hee <laughs> hee. Gone Fuer threw down a whistle, took the unconscious Weiba, and left. Well, what a strange old man. Wei Wei picked up the whistle and muttered. Luffy's mouth curled up. Don't worry, we will meet him again. Gone Fowl had left with the unconscious Shandia warrior Weppa, but he left a whistle to call him, and the Straw Hat Pirates would have to pass through the portal of Sky Island, the Gate of Heaven. When the Straw Hat Pirates heard Gon Fowl mention the legend of Gate of Heaven, which only exists in the world epic, they could not help but sigh at the romantic naming of the Sky Island people. The entrance to the Gate of Heaven is like a half-sun, with the words Piavin's Gate carved on it, magnificent and majestic. An old woman stood in the Gate of the Gate of Heaven, and his wife took a camera to take pictures. This old woman is naturally the Watcher Amazon of Sky Island. The wrinkled old woman with a pair of small wings on her back saw the Golden Mary approaching and said. Foreigners from Qinghai who want to enter Sky Island must pay one billion extrude each. This is the law of Sky Island. The exchange rate between Bailey and extrude is one, ten thousand. Nami was about to call her a profiteer, but Luffy stopped her and took out a large bag of Bailey. There are nine people in our group plus a ship. Here is one million Bailey. Any extra is your tip. Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Akin, Chopper, Robin, Vivi, plus the ship Elf Mary. The observer Amazon old woman saw this and smiled and said. Sky Island welcomes you, distinguished guests. Money makes the world go round, let alone a worker. Nami whispered, Luffy, why are you? Luffy just shook his head gently, indicating that he should not make trouble. In the original work, the Straw Hat Pirates only had 50,000 Baileys left. Because they did not pay the entry fee, they were reported by the old woman as illegal immigrants and were wanted before they entered Sky Island. However, Luffy did not intend to make trouble at this time when, revisiting the old place, and there was no need to conflict with the official department of Sky Island as soon as they arrived. That would affect the mood of the Straw Hat Adventure Group when they arrived at Sky Island for sightseeing, and it might also affect the fundamental purpose of the Straw Hat Pirates coming to Sky Island to a certain extent. The Straw Hat Pirates were not as poor as in the original work, with only 50,000 Baileys left. A mere 1 million Baileys was just a drop in the bucket. Even if they could only be treated as VIPs by Sky Island officials temporarily, why not? Luffy did not want to be chased by the White Berets as soon as he arrived at Sky Island. The Amazon granny took the bag with a smile on her face and counted it casually, then said. Welcome, distinguished guests. I am Amazon, the Amazon of Sky Island. The road to Sky Island will be helped by the White Sea specialty, the Express Shrimp. May you have a safe journey. The old woman bowed and summoned a huge Express Shrimp. The next moment, the Express Shrimp picked up the Mary and went upstream against the vertical cloud column, and the process was extremely smooth. Soon, the Golden Mary arrived at the White Sea 10,000 meters above, and the horizon of Sky Island appeared, and the whole picture of Sky Island came into view. So beautiful, what an amazing view, stars appeared in Weiwei's eyes. Angel Beach, near Sky Island. Connus played the harp on Angel Beach as always, and the snow-white cloud fox Cece lay quietly beside Connus and dozed. Suddenly, 
Cece pricked up her ears and looked up. Above the horizon, she saw the Golden Mary slowly approaching and stopping steadily at the beach. Oh, this place is really like heaven. Although the clouds under my feet are soft, it feels like walking on flat ground. The straw hat pirates got off the ship and strolled on the pure white cloud road. The romantic scenery made the straw hat pirates stop. The white clouds rose to the distant peaks and swayed into the clear sky. This is also a romantic adventure in the pirate world that makes people yearn for it. The pirates on the journey, the competition of various forces, the joys and sorrows of people, the bizarre scenery, etc. are also part of the journey. The straw hat adventurers felt the unique scenery that belonged to the Sky Island at an altitude of 10,000 meters and the charm of the Sky Island. Luffy looked far into the distance, and led everyone to slowly and quietly come to Connus who was playing the harp. Hello, the natives of Sky Island, we are from Qinghai, and we are guests who come here to travel. When Sanji saw the person in front of him, his blood boiled and he was very attentive. Oh, beautiful angel miss, it's an honor to meet you. Please come with me. Sanji, don't do this. Chopper silently pulled Sanji away. The snow-white cloud fox was silently alert. Kanis stopped playing the harp, stood up, saluted, and smiled. Hasso, everyone was confused by this way of greeting, after all, they had never seen the daily life of the people of Sky Island. Luffy smiled slightly. Hasso, this is the unique way of greeting in Sky Island. Hello, I am Luffy, and they are my partners. Hasso, I am Kanis, and I am glad to meet you. Kanis has a beautiful face, a quiet temperament, blonde hair, a plain white dress, and a pair of white wings behind her, which adds a sense of holiness. Sky Island welcomes you. This is Angel Island of the Kingdom of the Sky. Kanis smiled and picked up the cloud fox beside her. At this time, an old man with wings on his back driving a strange vehicle suddenly broke into the conversation. Wait, wait, wait. Help. Power boss is out of control. The old man and the vehicle crashed straight into the tree. Chopper quickly grew bigger, stopped it, and saved the old man. Hey, hey, thank you, friendly Qinghai people. I'm Pagaya, this is Sky Island's unique means of transportation, Weber. But somehow it got out of control, sorry for making me laugh. Pagaya rubbed his butt and stood up. There's such a magical, Weber. Nami's eyes were full of stars, eager to try. Ha ha, you can also try riding it. Pagaya said kindly and friendly, and Kanis also felt a little fond of the straw hat pirate's friendliness. Kanis said softly, Weber is a very popular means of transportation in Sky Island, and it requires a sense of balance, but Qinghai people should pay attention to safety and avoid getting hurt when trying it for the first time. Nami quickly mastered the tricks of driving Weber, just like in the original work, and happily galloped around for a few laps, and soon returned to her companions. In the original work, Luffy had no sense of balance and always fell to the ground, but now Luffy can easily handle such a simple means of transportation. Just kidding, I was an experienced driver in my previous life, and the difficulty of controlling a car was quite high. Wei Ba is just a trick. With the help of their strong strength, the partners quickly mastered the trick. It's incredible. No one in Qinghai has ever learned to drive Wei Ba so quickly. Kanis was surprised. Ha ha, everyone has come from afar, why don't you come to my place to rest? Pagaya said happily. On the other side, Gan Fol had settled down with Wei Ba. Gan Fol also gave Wei Ba a simple bandage. After all, the injuries suffered by Shandia, a veteran warrior, were far from fatal, and Ajin was not going to kill him. Since you're awake, just drink something. Gan Fol scooped up a bowl of water and drank it all, talking to himself. Weipa had woken up slowly at this time, but he lay on the ground pretending to be dead, because he knew that the one who saved him was the Knight of Sky Island, and he planned to wait for this person to relax and then knock him out and escape. Seeing that he could not hide this from the old knight's eyes, Weipa opened his eyes helplessly. How is it? Attacking the Qinghai people passing by, but being beaten like this, isn't it embarrassing? Gan Fol showed a hint of ridicule. My business is none of your business. At this moment, Weipa's whole body was soft, except for his words. Well, I didn't intend to mind your business, but you, a glorious Shandia warrior, attacked others and got beaten like this. It's not good for me, a Sky Island knight, to ignore you completely. Gan Fuhr laughed. Weipa's face was burning with pain, 
his teeth were about to break, so he simply closed his eyes and ignored him. Seeing that Wei Pa pretended to rest, Gan Fuer did not expose him and continued to talk to himself. What do you think those people from Qinghai are here for? They seem to know all the grievances between the Shandia tribe and the people of Sky Island, but you don't use your brain to think about it. There are no Shandia tribes in Qinghai for a long time. Where did they get the news from? Humph, I have seen more people than you have walked in all these years. I am sure that these people are definitely not just here to travel to Sky Island. They are so fearless and come here by taking advantage of the rising currents, either for the golden country, or, he he. Weppa suddenly opened his eyes, with a gleam in his eyes. Old man, you said the golden country. Gon Fuer picked up the stick and gave Wei Pa a slap, show some respect, little devil. Then Gon Fuer continued, maybe it's not just that. Those people seem to be here for sightseeing, but don't you find that they have a strong purpose? Who knows? I have an inexplicable intuition that perhaps the 400-year-long war of hatred will end with the arrival of this group of people. Weppa roared. Don't be ridiculous. Just a few people. How can they influence a protracted war? By the way, where is the Qinghai man who knocked me out and suddenly turned black? Next time I meet him, I will definitely kill him. Gan Fuer hit Weppa hard again. Stubborn. Next time, do you still want to? There will be a next time. You almost died this time alone. It's a good thing they didn't want to kill you, otherwise you think you can still yell at me. Are your eyes on top of your head? You attacked them, and that person didn't kill you with one blow, but still showed mercy. You are not grateful and still want to avenge your shame. Where is your brain? I'm afraid that you won't get any good out of any one of them. Facing Gon Fuer's scolding, Wei Pa face flushed, but he had no place to vent. Because in his current state, he couldn't beat this old man, and what this old man said was probably not wrong. Wei Pa held it in for a long time, and finally squeezed out a sentence. Do you really think that group of people can change the status quo? Gan Fuer said calmly, who can tell what will happen in the future? Anyway, we just need to wait and see. In Wei Pa view, Arpaiado will always belong to the Shandians, and the Sky Islanders have always been despicable invaders. Otherwise, this generation would not have chosen him as a great warrior. Unless all the Sky Islanders are killed, the Shandians will never be able to completely recapture Arpaiado. It's all the fault of the Sky Island god, it's all the priests. Wei Pa thought for a long time before speaking. Hey, old man, since you said that group of people might come for the golden country. But I see that group of people are dressed neatly and decently, and the ship is also very luxurious. They don't look like they need money very much. Gon Fuer said, Oh, are you finally willing to use your brain? That's right, that group of people paid a full one million baileys when they passed through the gate of heaven, which is equivalent to one billion of our Sky Island coins. They are so generous, how could they be short of money? And they went straight to Sky Island, and their purpose is very strong. Wei Pa said, Then you say, Is it possible that they are came for the God of Sky Island? Quote. Gan Fool was shocked and said, Everything is possible, but if they really come for God, then we can only wish them good luck. I also hope that they can really defeat God. But no matter what, I don't think they will be enemies. Tisk, I really hope you are right. Wepa curled his lips. At this moment, the straw hat adventurers have begun to relax in Pagaya's residence. E.H., Miss Connus and Mr. Pagaya are actually father and daughter. Sanji was shocked. Connus smiled lightly. Didn't you see me and my father greet each other? Luffy sighed lightly, and Sanji still couldn't walk when he met a beautiful woman like in the original book, and his IQ would also decrease. Okay Sanji, calm down. Quote, Pagaya laughed. Look, these are all Sky Island specialties, and this magical cloud-cutting technology should be rare in Qinghai, right? Pagaya showed everyone all kinds of strange and fresh objects in Sky Island, especially the magical cloud-cutting technology, which made the straw hat pirates marvel. Connus continued to introduce, We have all kinds of shells on Sky Island, and shell technology has also come into being. The people of Sky Island will store all kinds of energy in shells and make them into practical tools. For example, sound shells that can record sounds, wind shells that can provide power for daily travel, impact shells that can store energy and then launch attacks, light shells that can provide lighting for our daily lives, etc. 
They are all unique products of Sky Island. Even the powerful that you just learned was able to move with the help of wind shells. Quote. Connus said as he showed everyone the functions of various bays, which amazed everyone. Connus continued. Sky Island's unique bay technology is closely related to the lives of Sky Island people, and Sky Island people cannot do without convenient bay technology. Quote. Everyone was very interested in this magical bay technology, especially Usopp, who said excitedly. Can you tell me the principle of such bay technology? I want to learn these magical technologies. For a sniper like Usopp who likes all kinds of novel items, bay technology has a fatal attraction, which may greatly increase himself. But Usopp prefers to invent some novel things by himself rather than borrowing other people's technology. That is his own strength, and it is difficult to go far by taking advantage of others. Pagaya and Kanis smiled at each other. Of course. As long as you don't spread bay technology to others to harm others, it's okay to tell you. Usopp said proudly. Of course, our captain's dream is to change the whole world. My dream is to make the world better and better. Connus was surprised and said. This is really incredible, a great ideal. Luffy didn't say much, and Usopp bowed and said. Thank you for your generosity. I will definitely use bay technology in the right way. In the future, Bay technology may have the opportunity to flourish in the outside world. After the Straw Hat adventurers had dinner at the home of Pagya and Connus, they went out to find a hotel to stay. After all, it is not a good thing to disturb the lives of residents too much. The Straw Hat pirates stood in the hotel room, overlooking the beautiful scenery of the white clouds of Sky Island, admiring this unique scenery, how pleasant. As for the fatigue of the long journey and the drowsiness of the one-day trip, they were also swept away in the quiet and peaceful sleep. On the morning of the second day, the Straw Hat Pirates came to Connus's house as usual to explain the various interesting stories and attractions of Sky Island, and Pagya was also helping Usopp learn bay technology. The Straw Hat Pirates and Pagya and Connus have established a friendship far deeper than the original. At the same time, on the other side, the forbidden land of Sky Island appeared. This should not be the land that should exist on Sky Island. At this moment, a man dressed as an adventurer with a dusty face and a face full of despair was desperately running for his life. I won't come here. I won't come here again. This is not a paradise. This is hell. The man was crying and trying to escape. Behind the man were all kinds of beasts chasing him, and a large group of people dressed in strange clothes were also chasing him. They were the priests of Sky Island, also known as servants of God. The man rolled and crawled towards the coastline, and he could already see his ship. He ran even more desperately, thinking that as long as he got on the ship, he could escape from this hell, even if he was in a miserable state, he would be fine as long as he was alive. However, how could God be as good as expected? In a dazzling light, a huge lightning column struck down, and the man dressed as an adventurer was smashed to ashes on the spot. The beasts behind them showed horrified expressions, and the priests behind them also showed sarcastic expressions. They thought that how could people escape from the God's sanction? God treats all outsiders equally. The priests are fanatical about the God of Sky Island. In their eyes, God is the world and God is everything. Connus's house. The straw hat adventurers just wanted to go out to see the famous scenery of Sky Island, and a huge express shrimp suddenly appeared, and wanted to grab the Mary and leave. Mary noticed it instantly and punched the huge express shrimp away. The cute Mary was a little angry at this moment, enemy. Mary could not allow the enemy to approach the Mary. He is the ship spirit of the Mary, the patron saint of the Mary. The observation hockey of the straw hat pirates also quickly sensed the abnormality, and Luffy frowned. Obviously, they are not regarded as illegal immigrants like in the original book, so why does the same situation happen as in the original book? Zoro instantly drew his sword, wrapped in Ryuzakura Haki, and a sword energy that seemed to cut the sky in half flew out, smashing the giant express shrimp. What is this? What's going on? Sanji and Kin frowned, and instantly flashed out, guarding the side of the Mary, and the others were ready to take action at any time. Everyone's observation hockey unfolded, and when they noticed the peeping, they directly blocked it. If the powerful owner of observation hockey is not willing, no one else can peek. In just a moment, Connus's face turned pale and he knelt on the ground. God, this is God's sanction. 
Could it be that God suddenly wanted to make all outsiders accept the trial? Luffy's eyes condensed. Good Enelu, we haven't planned to find you yet, but you came to us yourself. There is a road to heaven but you don't take it, there is no door to hell but you insist on breaking in. The next moment, lightning flashed above Conus's head, and a lightning column struck down fiercely. Vivi, Luffy's mind raced, and he quickly gave orders. Conus knelt down in despair and murmured. Lord God Enel has sent down divine punishment. It's useless. It's useless. God's sanction will fall on the head of every Sky Islander who dares to disobey God and everyone will die. Vivi also flashed in an instant, using the power of the snow snow fruit to protect herself and Conus. In Conus's astonished eyes, a snow column rose from the ground, collided with the lightning, and finally disappeared into thin air. E.H. E.H. Conus felt a cool embrace in his desperate eyes. The same type of natural devil fruit ability user, without using domineering, can't do anything to the same natural ability user. Frost Pillar. Wei Wei shouted with a cold face. The residents on the street who saw this scene were also shocked and whispered to each other. Seeing that the crisis was resolved, everyone took Conus and Pagya, who were still in shock, back to their residence. God. God's punishment. You it can actually resist the punishment of God. Conus was incoherent, Luffy said with a gloomy face. Everyone, release the observation hockey to block this place first. This guy can use the observation hockey to locate and spy. Everyone immediately took action, and the house quickly disappeared in the perception of Sky Island's God Enelu's hard network. Luffy then continued to speak. Don't be afraid, this thing is called God by you. He is not a god at all. The father and daughter were shocked. E.H. E.H. What are you talking about? What observation hockey? What? Isn't Lord Enelu a god? Sanji stomped out the cigarette. Tisk of course not. The Enelu you are talking about is your god. Take this thing as a god. Ms. Nami, it seems that your devil fruit has been found. Akin rubbed his hands. Luffy said forcefully. Enelu, he is a user of the nature system thunder fruit. He is not a god at all. He is just a natural devil fruit user. E.H. E.H. Devil fruit. Nature system thunder fruit. What the hell is that? The father and daughter were confused. You don't need to understand these things deliberately, you just need to be sure of one thing, that is, Enelu is not a god. Zoro wiped the knife. Yes, I am also a natural devil fruit user, I have the snow snow fruit, I have shown it to you just now. I never call myself a god. Nature system is not invincible. Nature system is even less likely to be a god. The so-called god of Sky Island. In fact, it is just an ordinary human who can be killed. Vivi also stood up and said affirmatively. Really, it's getting more and more interesting. Robin crossed his arms, his face seemed to be smiling, but he didn't look happy at all. Usopp fiddled with the sniper rifle with a cold face. Nami clenched her fist. What kind of bullshit god is this? Luffy said in a deep voice. Chopper, blow the whistle and contact Gon Foul. Isn't he the old god of your sky island? By the way, let him bring Wepper with him. Chopper was shocked. E.H. That strange old man turned out to be the old god of sky island. Connie's and Pagaya were surprised and said incoherently. Gon Foul, you actually know that old god. Is he, still alive? Nothing strange, this is our captain. Nami curled her lips. Our Captain Luffy will never stand by and watch this kind of thing. Captain, just give the order. The head of Sky Island's god Enel will be taken. Quote. Akin's face was cold and his words were shocking. He didn't take the god of Sky Island seriously at all. Luffy nodded. Next, Luffy used his observation hockey to inject the information about Wepper into the whistle, and then Chopper blew the whistle. This will be the horn before the war. Well, before your old god gone full and that Shandia warrior Weppa arrive, let me make another call. Luffy played with the sound shell on the table and took out a den den mushi. Mashimoshi, is Mr. Dragon here? Dragon's low voice came from the other end after the den den mushi was connected. Luffy, I'm here, where are you now? Luffy, we are now adventuring on the sky island at an altitude of 10,000 meters. Dragon was a little surprised, 10,000 meters. Does the Sky Island really exist? Luffy. Well, yes. On this Sky Island, we found many new things and also had a special idea. 
Dragon became interested. Idea. What idea? Luffy he said, you, the revolutionary army, don't want to live in hiding every day, right? This sky island, 10,000 meters above the sky, as long as it can solve your travel problems, then Sky Island can become your headquarters, is it feasible? Drag was also frightened by Luffy's wild ideas. This, this, maybe it's really feasible. It has long been Luffy's idea to use Sky Island as the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army. As long as the civil war and traffic problems of Sky Island can be solved, Sky Island will become a fortress of heat, and the 10,000 meter altitude will become a natural barrier. Sky Island is easier to defend than Wano Country. In the future, when going to war with the Celestial Dragons, it will be a nightmare for the Celestial Dragons to become the base camp here. Luffy continued, then, we have to solve a little trouble on Sky Island. I hope someone can come to help us and inspect Sky Island. Drag hesitated and said, is that so? But I can't leave now. The Revolutionary Army has just undergone reforms and there is a lot of work to be done. I still have to deal with various matters. Luffy. Then is Mr. Yi Xiao here. His Chong Chong fruit ability happens to have the ability to fly, so it shouldn't be a problem for him to come to Sky Island alone. Wait a minute. Drag went out immediately. Hello, friend Luffy. Your ideas are really wild. I can indeed fly high with the power of Chong Chong fruit, but 10,000 meters, that might consume too much energy. The person opposite Den Den Mushi has changed. No problem, Mr. Yixiao. There are two ways to reach Sky Island. One way is to start from the top of the west sky, but that takes too long, so we won't consider it. The other way is to take the rising current to reach the White Sea at an altitude of 7,000 meters, and the entrance is near Gaia Island. But Mr. Yixiao has the ability to fly, so he can fly directly from Gaia Island to the White Sea at an altitude of 7,000 meters. We will let the Mary go to the White Sea to pick up. After hearing this, Yi Xiao was no longer vague. Okay. I'll set off now. Luffy hung up the Den Den Mushi and looked at everyone with a smile. This way, it's foolproof. Everyone looked at each other. Don't look at me like that. If the Revolutionary Army can station its headquarters here, Sky Island will no longer need God. Sky Island and the Revolutionary Army can live together and get strong protection from each other. Luffy smiled. Kanis was still a little worried. Sky Island, is this going to be a country? Luffy knew that the two forces needed to work together, and he was not in a hurry to achieve success. But by calling on a general-level fighter like Mr. Yixiao, even if he had no time to take care of others after launching a general attack on Enelu, the people of Sky Island would not be harmed. Moreover, even if Enelu launched Thunder Welcome to destroy Sky Island as in the original work, he would not be able to harm any grass or tree on Sky Island. Okay. It seems that Gonfowl and Wiper have arrived. Sanji stretched his body. Outside the door, Gonfowl and Wiper, who were dressed in armor, pushed the door open. Gonfowl went on alert as soon as he entered the door, you need help. Why do you have to bring Wiper with you? Hey, old man. Wiper complained on the side. Are you here? The straw hat pirates and the father and daughter of Pagaya sat together and looked at them with a smile. Here, here, what's going on? Wiper was helpless when he saw this scene. At that moment, Luffy explained the incident that happened on Sky Island. Gonfull was shocked and said, So you are at war with God? Luffy said solemnly, We came to Sky Island for three purposes. The first is to find the lost Golden Country. Since we can confirm that the Golden Country is on Sky Island, let's not talk about it for now. The second is to visit Sky Island, experience the different customs and customs from the Grand Line, and take a walk to see the beautiful scenery of Sky Island. The third is to kill Enelu by the way. Weppa was speechless. By the way, kill God by the way. Zoro continued. Well, now Iwe already know that Enel is not a god at all, he is just a devil fruit user who ate that nature system thunder fruit. Nature system, thunder fruit. Gon full muttered to himself. Usopp raised his head. That's right. You regard a piece of trash who completely relies on the power of a devil fruit as an omnipotent god. He is just a human. Weppa expressed his incomprehension. This. How is this possible? Our Shandia family has challenged God countless times, and each time we were blasted to pieces by thunder. You actually say that this is not a god. Weiwei stepped forward and showed the power of the snow snow fruit, freezing Weppa. 
I am also a devil fruit user, and I am a nature system like Enel. Do you think I am a god? Gon Fole and Weppa were completely sick, and fell to their knees in frustration. Both of them hated their own incompetence. How could this be? How could this be? Quote, Ajin helped them up. So, do you still think that Enel is an omnipotent god? Even I can beat him to a pulp. Weppa said unwillingly. Don't think that you can defeat me. Luffy interrupted Weppa. Weppa, and everyone. The reason why Enel uses thunder to lock the enemy is because of his hard net. This ability has a unified name in our world, Observation Hockey. Enel's Observation Hockey is not that strong, but the Thunderfruit has brought him a considerable increase. His other domineering ability, Armament Hockey is probably not at all. Luffy also showed the Armament Hockey to the people on Sky Island, and then continued. If there is no Armament Hockey, it is impossible to attack Enel. And each of us has Armament Hockey. This kind of hockey can attack the body of the natural system and cause him great damage. If we really fight, Enelu can't defeat anyone in our Straw Hat Adventure group. Kanis, Pagaya, Gonfowl and Weppa accepted this huge amount of information with a dull look, and they were doubting their lives at the moment. Nami comforted them. This world is very big. It doesn't matter if you can't understand it now. After this, you will also appreciate the magnificence of the world. So there is no need to complain about yourself now, we will all become better. After a long time, the four people in Sky Island finally cheered up. So now, you are going to fight Enelu, right? You also have a 100% chance of winning and can definitely defeat Enelu. Yes, we will win 100%. The people of Sky Island will no longer live under the shadow of God. Luffy said sonorously. Robin chuckled. In order to completely protect the entire Sky Island, the captain also summoned a strong fighting force from the outside world to ensure that Sky Island is safe. After listening to this, Weipa was silent. He hesitated for a long time and asked. You are here to defeat God, so if that's the case, will you take away our golden city? Luffy chuckled and said, I know what you are worried about, Weipa. Although the golden city is magnificent, it is not our destination. The Golden City is just a node in our adventure. We may visit the Golden City, but we will not destroy it. Taking away your home is meaningless to us. We hope that you, the Shandia clan, can live in peace with the people of Sky Island in the future. Ending this 400-year-long chaotic civil war, the unnecessary internal consumption of this Sky Island will stop. Maybe the entire Sky Island will become the new Golden Town in the future. Quote. Weppa was dumbfounded. This, is it possible for this to happen? Sanji lit a cigarette. Yes, you Shandians and Sky Islanders have been at war for many years, but you can't destroy each other because your two tribes have conflicting interests and are evenly matched. As long as there is an absolutely powerful force involved in this war, your disputes over the years will lose their meaning. Quote. Luffy took out a book. Let's not talk about these for now. This is the navigation diary I asked for from Mont Blanc Kulikit. Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc Rolando's Mont Blanc. Weppa's eyes widened. That's right, this is the navigation diary of Big Liar, Mont Blanc Rolando. Luffy was very sure. Weppa took the wrinkled diary and stroked it. Big Liar, I didn't expect that people in Qinghai also call Rolando the Big Liar. But although it's not right, it's not far off. Rolando, after all, broke his promise to his ancestors. Robin also laughed, broken his promise. That's not necessarily true. After coming here, I vaguely guessed that the reason why Rolando didn't come back to meet your ancestors again is because he couldn't come at all. Weppa said angrily. What does this mean? You said our ancestors were hard to come by. Is it possible that you made a mistake? Luffy patted Weppa on the shoulder. What is the truth? You can find out by opening it. Weppa opened the diary with doubt. Rolando's diary did record an immortal friendship across time, which is also the most romantic interpretation of human pursuit of adventure. It turned out that 400 years ago, Rolando's adventure team accidentally came to Gaia Island because of the attraction of the mysterious bell and saved the Shandia tribe who were deeply trapped in the plague. Rolando and the Shandia tribe's great warrior, Calgara established a deep friendship and became close friends. But later, in order to eradicate the threat of the plague, Rolando and his companions accidentally cut down the Shandia tribe's sacred tree, which made them hate the Shandia tribe. 
The misunderstanding was not revealed until Rolando and Calgara were about to part. Cargara ran to the sea with full of regret and guilt, and swore to Rolando who was gradually going away that he would keep ringing the golden bell, so that the beautiful bell sound would guide the two to meet again. After returning home, Rolando told the story of the golden country. The greedy king was attracted by the gold and asked Rolando to lead the fleet to the golden country again. But when Rolando and his team finally arrived at Gaia Island after all the hardships, the Shandia tribe and part of the island had completely disappeared. Rolando was desperate, and finally Rolando was executed by the angry king, and he has been carrying the infamy of a big liar. Wepa said, Isn't this the experience of Rolando and his ancestors meeting each other? Ancestor Calgara never waited for Rolando to meet him again until his death. Wait. Luffy smiled and said, do you finally realize it now? Weppa couldn't believe it, tears streaming down his face. We, Gaia Island, the Golden Bell, etc. were all washed here, and the Golden Bell has long been lost, so where can Rolando find it? Part of Gaia Island was washed up to a height of 10,000 meters by huge waves. The two close friends held regrets and never met again. Ancestor Calgara was so that he could meet again the battle just started. Robin was also shocked by the huge amount of information. It seems that the island of God is really the golden town that was washed up by a huge upwelling current 400 years ago. And the truth of the fairy tale friendship that spanned 400 years is actually like this. Then, what about the golden bell? Since it has been washed away since then, it is impossible that there is no trace. Quote. Luffy affirmed, the golden bell must also be somewhere on the island, and we will also ring the golden bell to fulfill our promise to Kulikit. Yes, this is the truth of the friendship that spanned 400 years. Gone Fowl also had mixed feelings. Is that the case? The source of the contradiction Arpeyard, the island carrying the legendary Golden Town, was originally the land of the Shandians. The Sky Islanders' enthusiasm for land and their desire to compete with the Shandians for land have become the fuse of this 400-year war. Quote. Weppa couldn't help crying. If our ancestors have never been broken, then what have we been fighting for in the past 400 years? Live together, live above this sky with the Sky Islanders. 400 years of hatred should not exist. Gone full stretched out his hand to Weppa. Luffy said solemnly. Now, you should slowly discuss how to go next. Since the dispute between the Shandians and the Sky Islanders should not exist, your handshake today will be a historic moment. The next priority is to quickly deal with Enelu, the false god of Sky Island, and return Sky Island to a peaceful and clean sea. Weppa cheered up. Yes. There is no need for the Shandians to fight anymore. I will explain it clearly when I go back. Luffy, can you give me this diary? I want to bury it in the tomb of my ancestors. Luffy nodded. Of course. The Mont Blanc family will never refuse after knowing the truth. Gone Fowl bent down and said. Next. Can I really ask you to take care of Sky Island? We must defeat Enelu. If you need us to do anything, please just ask, we will do it. Of course, the Straw Hat Pirates said in unison. Our pre-war preparations are to prevent all possible unexpected situations from happening, and we must never let Enelu have the opportunity to destroy Sky Island. Usopp cheered everyone up. At the same time, at Angel Beach, the Golden Mary, which had returned to the voyage, slowly landed under the control of Mary, with only one person on board. Ha ha, this is the legendary Sky Island, what a beautiful view. Quote. Mr. Yi Xiao got off the boat, his observation hockey activated, feeling everything around him, and walked slowly towards the city on the road formed by the clouds. Luffy was the first to sense Mr. Yi Xiao's arrival, and walked out to welcome him in. How is it, Mr. Yi Xiao, if this place can become the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army, the Revolutionary Army will no longer have to hide. Luffy said happily. Very good, there is no such beautiful scenery in the world. But we still need to get the consent of the people of Sky Island. We can also find a way to transfer some people here first. Yi Xiao was as happy as a child at this time. Luffy's eyes were like torches. That will be no problem. The trouble we are facing now is the so-called god Enelu of Sky Island. Judging from what he has done, he is very likely to choose to destroy Sky Island. He is that natural system Thunderfruit ability user. At that time, we will go to war with him, and we will also trouble Mr. Yi Xiao to protect this Sky Island and the people living here. 
Currently, the Straw Hat Pirates do not have a large-scale offensive and defensive capability, so with a suitable powerful force to help raid the formation, every blade of grass and tree on Sky Island can be protected. Wow, the Thunder Fruit. A powerful ability that has not appeared in 200 years, that's really a big deal. Does this god want to destroy Sky Island? Then we must stop him. It's okay, Luffy and others can fight with confidence, and leave the rest to me. He promised with a smile. After discussing with everyone, Wapa returned to the tribe as quickly as possible to restrain the tribe members and cancel the original attack on Arpaiado. Wapa's move was naturally puzzled and opposed by the tribe members, but when Rolando's sailing diary appeared, the tribe members of Shandia were silent. They couldn't believe that the ancestors of Kaldora had wrongly blamed Rolando, and they couldn't believe that the 400-year battle of the tribe was a joke. When the truth came out, even if the Shandia tribe couldn't believe it, they had to admit that their war was meaningless no matter how they looked at it. After that, Wepa called on everyone to live in peace with the Sky Islanders and gradually eliminate the barriers. He was most pleased that from now on, the tribe members no longer needed to steal base and Shiki, Aisha, Kamlado, etc. no longer needed to live on thin ice. Although they encountered great resistance at first, the Shandia tribe was not unreasonable after all. Wepa told his people that he had reached a consensus with the old god gone full, and that no more wars with the Sky Islanders were allowed. He also gathered the people around Apeyard and stopped challenging Enelu. The Shandia people will soon be able to return to Apeyard and live with the Sky Islanders. They will no longer have to fight for land. People living under the same sky will work together to make progress. The God of Sky Island does not need them to confront each other every day, because the God will soon cease to exist. The Shandia people said they could not understand and could not believe it, but Wepa restrained the people and said that time would prove everything. Appeared, the central temple. Enelu was lying on the main seat board, with four priests kneeling below him. Enelu claimed to be a god, so he naturally had to accept the worship of the priests. Enel wears a white headscarf, his earlobes hang down on both sides, his upper body is bare-chested, and his lower body is wearing bloomers. He looks arrogant, and there is a huge thunder drum behind him. He wears several gold rings on his hands, and holds a scepter made of pure gold. Enel has four priests under his command. Geddes, in charge of the trial of the swamp with a survival rate of 50%. Sadly, in charge of the trial of the ball with a survival rate of 10%. Shira, in charge of the trial of the rope with a survival rate of 3%. Ohm, in charge of the trial of the iron with a survival rate of 0%. Ha 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 ha. Enel's devilish laughter echoed in the temple, and the four priests were full of fanaticism, as if Enel was really a god. Enelu said frivolously, Recently, a group of Qinghai people invaded the kingdom of God. I have issued the god's sanction. But they did not die, and disappeared inexplicably at Angel Beach. They dared to disobey me. And what worries me is that there seems to be another Qinghai person recently, but I can't even observe that person. The priest immediately agreed and volunteered. Lord Enelu is a god, and the orders of God cannot be disobeyed. I will send someone immediately go and capture them and bring them to the emperor. Enelu was bored. Ha 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 ha. That's it. Go and bring those Qinghai people here. Go and bring those Qinghai people who disobeyed the gods here. This is a trial. Trial of the ball, priest Shadley asked. Excuse me. Lord God, the Shandians, and the old God, gone full who suddenly reappeared recently. Enelu raised his eyebrows when he heard this. Don't worry about them. If they dare to attack God, I will sanction and destroy them. It seems that they are very close to the Qinghai people. If you meet them, just execute them on the spot. Quote. The priests laughed wildly. Subordinates have received orders. Enel held up the golden scepter, and the whole appeared was thundering and lightning, and the wind and thunder were rolling. He also transformed into thunder. Wow ha 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 ha, I am the god of thunder. Participate in the trial and try to survive, humble insects. Those who survive will serve God, and board the ark proverbs follow the gods to the infinite land. Quote. The priests echoed excitedly. God must not be disobeyed. God is omnipresent. God knows everything. Enel was very satisfied. The Ark Proverbs will be completed soon. By then, this ugly sky island will no longer have any need to exist.
The Shandians and Sky Islanders will be destroyed under the punishment of God as the Ark Proverbs sets sail. Follow the Oracle. All the priests below were already insane. Conus's house. Gone full has left. Yi Xiao is ready to stay in Sky Island City, and the Straw Hat Pirates are ready to set off. Door suddenly there was a commotion outside. Stray people, please get out of the way. Lord Enel, the god of Sky Island, has issued the oracle personally. The residents of Sky Island on both sides of the street immediately lowered their heads in trembling. The priests outside shouted. Request. Invaders from Qinghai. God's kingdom treats outsiders equally, and all must accept the God's trial. People of Qinghai, you humble bugs, get out and kneel down to accept the God's order. Lord Enel, the God ordered as priests to capture the invaders and bring them before the emperor. You must not disobey God. Pagaya and Kanis were very nervous. Priest, it's the servant of the trial priest under Enel. You must be careful. Nami gave Kanis C gave Kanis a relieved expression, signaling Kanis to stay calm. Just a bunch of clowns, it seems that they are chess pieces sent by Enel to test. Mr. Yi Xiao silently sensed the mob shouting outside the house, and suddenly laughed. Ha ha, Luffy, is this the little trouble you encountered on Sky Island? You actually regarded us as invaders. It seems that you are very disdainful of us outsiders. Chopper clenched his fists in anger. You actually said we are bugs. Ajin pretended to rush out of the door to kill them all. Luffy smiled at this time. Don't worry, they are just cannon fodder sent by that jumping clown Enelu. They are provocative like this, it seems that they want to know the details of us. Usopp also smiled and loaded the sniper rifle. Do you need me to snipe them one by one? Zoro said helplessly. This is in a residential area. It will be troublesome if you snipe them all. What? If a mad dog bites us, we have to bite the mad dog back. Robin crossed his legs. But I am very unhappy to let these dispensable pawns for Enelu continue to disturb the people outside. Sky Island and his daughter stared at everyone in amazement, not knowing what to do. You guys are, too leisurely. Are these priests really that unbearable? Chopper whispered. However, I will transform and kill them. Are they all scared away? Nami took Chopper aside. Don't worry. If you do this, they will become even more aggressive. They have already identified us as illegal immigrants. Why are we still being so polite to them? Mr. Yi Xiao said happily. It's okay, leave it to me. It's a power that I have just mastered. Let me try to calm down all the flies outside. Luffy became interested. Oh, Mr. Yi Xiao, are you going to use the power of numerous fruit to suppress them all? Yi Xiao shook his head. No, Luffy. I just participated in the glorious revolutionary cause some time ago and have officially awakened the domineering hockey. Let me try this ability. Luffy's eyes lit up. The admiral in the original work did not join the navy that was restricted everywhere, but awakened the domineering hockey. It's reasonable, right? Navy. Reasonable ass. The flies outside hadn't reacted yet. They only saw a blind old swordsman quietly walk out of the house. Just as he was about to shout something, he began to foam at the mouth, and began to fall down one after another, twitching all over. Yi Xiao released a strong and extremely domineering aura to the priests who were shouting outside, and the group of priests immediately fell to the ground unconscious. Well, it's quiet now. Yi Xiao laughed and returned to the house. Luffy exhaled. Let's go, partners. It's time to go. No need to endure, no need for any strategy. All enemies blocking our way can be cleared, and we will have no rivals in front of us. Got it, Captain. The partners were full of fighting spirit. The nine members of the Straw Hat Pirates passed the unconscious priests, ignored the Sky Islanders with different expressions around the street, and went straight to Arpayard. Unlike the original work, the Straw Hat Pirates did not choose to split up, nor did they prepare any battle plan, but all set off for Arpayado where the Golden City is located. What priest, what a shitty trial, this is not a trial, this will just be a one-sided crushing. With absolute strength, there is no need for any tricks, just push forward and directly attack Enelu, anything else is redundant. Enemy attack, it's the Qinghai people, they are preparing to invade Arpayard. Along the way, they encountered a large number of priests, who were pushed all the way by the Straw Hat pirates, and were beaten and fled in all directions. Quick, report to the god Enelu-sama. A priest roared. Are you blind? 
God Enelusama is omnipresent and omniscient. He must have known the news a long time ago and sent out those adults. God is invincible. Some people are blind believers. At this moment, Arpeyard, inside the temple. Trial of the Ball Priest Shadley was twitching with anger. Lord Enelu, these lunatics dared to invade Arpeyard. Please allow me to clear all obstacles for you. I will let them taste the taste of the Ball Dragon. Trial of the Rope Priest Shira also volunteered. Respected Lord God Enelu, you don't have to worry at all. I can bury them all by myself. Trial of the Swamp Priest Gadaz's expression twitched, and he was already very hungry and thirsty. Lord God Enelu, my trial of the swamp is the strongest. Please be sure to hand over these insects to me. I will slaughter them all. Trial of Iron Priest Ohm expressed disdain and drew his long sword, with a crazy look. You're talking nonsense. My trial of iron is the strongest. Lord Enelu, those bugs that offended the majesty of God should all be handed over to me. I'm really looking forward to seeing them having their hands and feet chopped off. What's the difference between them and other people? They must look delicious when they die. Enelu laughed arrogantly. Ha 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 ha. I actually heard that they are the helpers found by the Shandians and that old guy gone full. Do they think they can defeat God like this? God is invincible. I'll leave it to you. I'll go out. Kill all those ignorant bugs. Why use a butcher knife to kill a chicken? Lord Enelu, this. Ohm was puzzled. Enelu waved his hand. From now on, all restrictions in Arpeyard are lifted. You can give full play to your abilities. The original non-interference between you is cancelled, so you can show your strength. Ignore any rules, ignore everything. The original four trial priests were in charge of a region in Arpeyard, but now Enelu has given up letting them fight on their own. For some reason, Enelu felt uneasy and sent all the priests out, even ignoring the original rules. All the priests received the order and went out to defend the Arpeyard coastline. However, this was meaningless because the Straw Hat adventurers had already arrived. On the other side, Waipa looked at the smoke rising from Arpeyard and muttered to himself. They started it, Sake asked in confusion, who? Who started it? As a natural awakener of the hard net, Aisha also sensed that the movements of Arpeyard were very abnormal. All the priests were dispatched, and their faces were pale. Wepa touched Aisha's head, don't worry, the god is finished. It was the group of foreign Qinghai people who went to war with Enelu. They are unimaginably powerful, they have unparalleled power. The Shandia clan was shocked. Could it be that after today, the god occupying Arpeyard will no longer exist? The first person the Straw Hat adventurers encountered was the priest Shadley of the Trial of the Ball. Shadley looked like a huge ball, laughing wildly and approached the Straw Hat pirates. Countless sky sharks also surrounded them and wanted to kill the Straw Hat pirates. Nami jumped lightly and took the lead. Shadley laughed loudly, controlling many white balls to attack the Straw Hat pirates. Ha 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 ha, invaders, you have come to an end. Die. Nami dodged Shadley's attack by leaning sideways. The weather stick wrapped with armed hockey hit Shadley and sent him flying. Then she continued to hit him to intercept all the white balls. Sadly was knocked back, spitting blood and screaming in horror. You. Dot how could you possibly avoid my hard net? Nami said disdainfully. Hard net, is that what you call it here? This is not a power unique to you. In the vast ocean, it has a unified name, Observation Hockey. However, your Observation Hockey is so shallow that it makes people laugh. Shadley was very angry. Woman, what are you talking about? Ball Dragon. Nami's expression turned cold. What dragon are you talking about? The Ball Dragon made of bombs attacked Nami, and Nami raised the weather stick. Ball Lightning. A ball condensed to the extreme the lightning ball knocked the dragon ball away and took it to the sky, turning it into gorgeous fireworks. Nice fireworks, any more. Nami glanced back at Sadly. But before Sadly could start to curse, Sadly was horrified to see that lightning suddenly burst out again on the stick of the woman in front of her. You, how could you have the same god power as Lord Enel? Could it be that you are also a god? Nami curled her lips in disdain, I am ignorant. Well, but it doesn't matter anymore. Thousands of lightning. Nami wrapped the armed color domineering around the weather stick and released rolling thunder. Dense lightning covered the surroundings, and all the sky sharks were blown upside down, and sadly was also ruthlessly covered. 
Under the thunder and lightning, sadly had not had time to say anything before she turned into a round pile of charcoal. Trial of the ball, sadly, send. The three priests who came from behind were caught off guard, shadly. You die. The three priests rushed forward. Chopper faced Shira, the priest of trial of the rope, Vivi faced Goddess, the priest of trial of the swamp, Robin faced Ohm, the priest of trial of the iron. Facing Shira who could spit fire, Chopper roared and grew bigger, his observation hockey activated, his fist covered with armament hockey, and defeated Shira, the priest of trial of the rope, with his flames. Shira's face was full of anger. Monster, how can you block the flames of my flame shell? A heavy voice came out of the enlarged chopper's mouth. Boring tricks, don't you have any other tricks? You monster, Shira roared, and stepped forward to fight Chopper in close combat. Shira's attack speed was very fast. Chopper was a little uncomfortable at first, and was even stabbed by Shira a few times. But soon, Chopper adjusted and adapted to Shira's attack rhythm. Chopper also found that although Shira's attack was fast, it could not break his defense at all. He grinned and punched him hard. Shira groaned in pain and was suppressed. The huge force made him unable to resist. He was shocked to find that there was no wound on Chopper's body, but his arms were almost broken by the huge force. Shira was also beaten up and spit out blood. I, how could I lose to a monster? You, what's wrong with you? Why can't I gather my strength? Why does my physical strength disappear so quickly? Chopper was too lazy to answer his questions. After adapting to the battle, he gradually became bored. Have you stopped here? It seems that the captain is right, you are really weak. Shira was furious, but his bones seemed to fall apart, and he no longer had any fighting power. He was horrified to see that Chopper's fist had turned black. Chopper roared, die, exorcism style, repel evil. He punched out, and the air waves soared into the sky. Trial of the rope priest Shira died. Vivi faced trial of the swamp priest goddess, with armed color domineering attached to both hands, and a blizzard rose fiercely. The cloud shell under Gedaz's feet activated, pushing him to take off instantly. His hands condensed into a long cloud and attacked Vivi, who had turned into a blizzard. Cloud shock, however, how could the attack of cloud shell possibly do anything to the natural ability of the snow snow fruit? No matter how Gedaz punched, he could not reach Vivi, even if the hard net was fully activated, he could not find Vivi. Geddes was sweating profusely, his body temperature dropped rapidly, and he fell into despair in the endless ice and snow. Vivi condensed her body, with her fists attached with armament hockey, and the power of the snow snow fruit was also wrapped around them. Vivi shouted, Extreme Snow Frost Seal. The fists with the armament hockey and the power of the snow snow fruit continuously bombarded Geddes's chest. Geddes turned into a lifelike snow sculpture, and then was smashed into pieces by the continuous fists and dissipated. The last priest Ohm activated the hard net and sensed that all his companions had been defeated. He was terrified and had no intention of fighting. Nico Robin, who was facing the trial of iron priest Ohm, would not let her enemy go. She had already used Mengwa Senban Sakura. Seeing Robin chasing him, Ohm also said with a crazy face. You guys die. Ohm drew his sword and slashed out a stream of sword energy. Robin laughed dumbly. Are you scared? The slash you made is so weak. Compared with Zoro's slash, your slash is just a bean sprout. Ohm was furious and slashed like a madman. To be honest, Ohm's slash was still powerful enough. Maybe he had the level of a swordsman. The slash in the original book was also very powerful. But at this moment, he was facing the fully enhanced Nico Robin, Robin, who is already proficient in using hockey, will naturally not be hurt. The sword energy that Ohm slashed out stirred Menka Senban Sakura, but how could Senban Sakura with a certain amount of hockey be broken? Menka Senban Sakura was born from Senban Sakura Jingyan, and it can change into any form, with endless changes. The sword energy slashed out, but it just couldn't break through the dancing petals. Ohm was surrounded by the petals before he knew it, and his crazy slashing couldn't go beyond one step. Robin recalled the moves of Senban Sakura Jingyan and shouted. It's over. Manjikura execution song. Countless petals were wrapped in armed hockey, turning into sharp knives, sweeping Ohm. After the petals dissipated, Ohm was covered in blood, even the knife was broken, and he fell straight down. Trial of Iron, Priest Ohm, die.
Since then, the four trial priests under Enelu were wiped out. The group continued to move forward, and all the countless priests they met along the way were pushed away like cutting melons and vegetables, and their momentum was unstoppable. On the road, a priest holding two guns and stepping on cloud shell was killed by Luffy with one punch. A huge sky python suddenly appeared, and was cut in half by Zoro's sword that spanned the sky and the earth. Zoro, can a grain of rice also shine? The various strange creatures that appeared and attacked were also defeated by Sanji and Akin who attacked. The flock of fire-breathing birds that flew to attack were shot by Usopp one by one, and these small Kurami also fell one after another. The Straw Hat Adventure group attacked the temple where Enelu was like a broken bamboo. Destroying with overwhelming force, unstoppable. The battlefield of Arpeyard was completely one-sided. Even if Enel was paying attention, by the time he reacted, the battlefield had already been dominated. In Angel Island, after Yixiao suppressed all the attacking priests with his powerful domineering aura, he began to call on the people of Sky Island to take emergency shelter and not go out, but the people of Sky Island still believed that the God of Sky Island would destroy everything. At this time, Pygaea and Kanis, father and daughter, also began to help Yixiao protect the residents of Angel Island, and spread the news that Enelu was not a god and might destroy Sky Island. Finally, some people of Sky Island took shelter at home, half believing and half waiting for the follow-up. Gon Full appeared with Sound Shell and announced that the former god of Sky Island had returned. He would protect every Sky Islander and help defeat the foreign false god Enelu. At this time, the Shandia clan also announced a truce with the Sky Islanders and began to guard Angel Island. Yi Xiao continued to eliminate all the priests who came to attack Angel Island, and covered and protected the entire Angel Island with his absolute power. At this point, countless people of Sky Island realized that there might be a big change, and they took shelter. Yi Xiao saw that Angel Island had settled down, so he stopped staying. He thought that the best way was to solve the source of the disaster as soon as possible, and he disappeared in a flash. In the forest, Yi Xiao found something unusual. A wounded man from Sky Island fell to the ground and said that Enel wanted to destroy everything on Sky Island. The man was forced to build an ark for six years. As the man was talking, lightning suddenly gathered in the sky and was about to strike him. Yi Xiao quickly drew out his staff sword chopped the lightning into pieces, and took the man back to Angel Island in an instant, leaving him to Gonfowl to take care of him, and then disappeared again. Luffy and his crew had already invaded Enel's temple and finally saw the real master. At this moment, Enel still didn't understand the situation, and just felt that this trial was too easy for these outsiders. Ha 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 ha, Qinghai people, you are great, I originally thought that only five people in this trial could come to me alive. Enel held up the golden scepter and bathed in thunder. Even if all the priests under his command were defeated, Enel did not think that this group of Qinghai people could beat him. In Enel's eyes, he could also easily defeat all the priests. He was God, the omniscient and omnipotent God. Are you Enel? Everyone looked at this spirited young man with strange clothes and thought he had a brain problem. That's right, I am God, Enel. Congratulations, ignorant Qinghai people. You have come to the God's court and are qualified to follow God to the infinite land. The straw hat pirates looked at the crazy laughing psychopath in front of them speechlessly and were all silent. Enelu ignored the different expressions of the straw hat pirates and continued to laugh wildly. Ha 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 ha, for six years, I have been collecting gold, and now the Ark Proverbs is complete. Come on, I will declare everything in the name of Thunder God. Follow me to the boundless and infinite land, and you will all enjoy glory. And this useless sky island will be destroyed under the majesty of God when the Ark Proverbs sets sail. Enelu's wild laughter spread throughout the sky island through Sound Shell and the people of Angel Island were all in panic. Keep calm, Enelu, the false god can't do anything. Gone Full's roar awakened countless people, and Angel Island suddenly fell into a deathly silence under the cover of many powers. Kid, what did you say you were going to destroy? Yi Xiao suddenly walked into the hall, with veins on his forehead bulging, and his cane sword was already drawn. Luffy immediately looked sideways. Wow, a precise step on the mine. The huge gravity locked Enel, and Enel was immediately suppressed by the pain and fell to the ground. Ah, how dare you! How dare you make God kneel! The crime is unforgivable. 
Enel's mouth was bleeding, and he struggled to support his body with the scepter. Lightning flashed, and there were thunder and lightning over the Sky Island, but he couldn't stand up. On the other side, the people of Sky Island who heard about this looked at each other and doubted their lives. God, knelt down, gone full and Weppa couldn't believe it, but it happened. When people questioned the authority of God, God no longer existed. After all, there are always creatures on the earth who dare to face the power of thunder. What's more, Enel is not a god at all. When someone discovered that the god was kneeling to a person, the original law of the god was rapidly disappearing. Get out, false god Enel, kill him. The first person on Angel Island shouted this, and soon the second, third, and a group of people roared. Silence. Gone full drew his knight's sword. The noise also quieted down. At this time, in the central hall of Arpeyard, Yi Xiao did not appear again. Suppress him with your hands. Beating such a guy will only make him feel sick. When Enel finally got up, Usopp couldn't bear it anymore. He rushed forward and knocked Enel to the ground with the butt of his gun. You call yourself a god. You call yourself Enel. Enel covered his face in pain and turned into lightning to the side. You rebels, I am the god of thunder. Also, how can you touch me? I am the thunder itself. Why, why doesn't my hard net work? Luffy curled his lips. Enel, nature type thunder fruit ability user, it's just a devil fruit ability, do you really think you are a god? Also, your hard net is also a bonus brought to you by the thunder fruit. Although it looks intimidating, it is not very strong in fact. Hard net has a unified name on the sea, it is the observation hockey. Do you think it is something that belongs to you alone? You are a waste who completely relies on the devil fruit ability. Thunder is not the power of God. Quote. Enelu was shocked and frightened out of the original painting, showing the same shocked expression as the original. God's punishment. Enelu suddenly rushed forward, pressed Luffy's chest, and released a violent thunder. Boring. Luffy's body shook and shook Enelu away. You. Dot you. How is it possible? How can anyone resist thunder? Enelu screamed hysterically. I am a devil fruit user like you, the difference is, my body is not conductive. Luffy chuckled, and Enel was frightened out of the original painting again. Luffy narrowed his eyes, and suddenly thought of a famous scene in the original work, and decided to reproduce it a little. Luffy picked up a small wooden stick, gestured with it, and then wrapped a little bit of armed color domineering with it. With a swing of the stick, Enel took off instantly, smashing countless walls, and lying on his back outside the temple. Thunder Bagua. Enel was furious. You. Fool. Luffy walked slowly to the outside of the temple, looking down at Enel lying on the ground vomiting blood. Enel, what kind of god did you just say you are? Chapter 91. Luffy looked down at Enelu and decided to try his idea to see if it was feasible. In the original work, Luffy used the non-conductive nature of the fruit ability to restrain Enelu's thunder fruit, making the thunder fruit useless, and finally defeated Enelu. But now, Luffy doesn't want to do this at all. Luffy took out a leg cuff and shook it in front of Enelu. Do you think it's unfair? My devil fruit ability completely restrains you. If not, I can't be immune to your thunderbolt. Unfortunately, I don't intend to defeat you with this. Look at what this is. Don't tell me that after being a god on this sky island for several years, you can't recognize anything. Enelu looked at the single leg cuff in Luffy's hand, and his body instinctively hated this thing. This, this is the cursed stone. It is the nemesis of the power of God. Luffy smiled when he heard it. Cursed stone, is this your unique name? Its official name is Seastone. Seastone, what are you going to do? Enelu jumped away, frowning. I mean, I will wear it and then fight you. In this way, you can also defeat it clearly. Luffy said lightly. Seeing Luffy really put on the leg cuffs, Enelu couldn't help but burst into laughter. Ha 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 ha, Qinghai people are really idiots. You actually gave up your strange ability, do you think you can still defeat me like this? Wear it, your strength will be reduced to one-tenth. Luffy didn't even shake, wrapped in armed color domineering, and punched Enelu away with a straight punch. That's right, my one-tenth of my strength. Silence is better than words at this moment. Enel was doubting his life at this time. This, this is impossible. Luffy laughed dumbly. I say, a guy who calls himself, Thunder God, is he desperate like this? It's too early. 
I have been wearing this thing to practice since I was 10 years old. Until now, it can only prevent me from using my fruit ability. And I have been practicing with Mr. Garp using the mountain as a sandbag since I was 15 years old. How hard do you think my fist is? Looking at the strange energy flowing on Luffy's dark fist, Enel was gritting his teeth at this time. Thunder Beast. Thunderbird. God's judgment. God's judgment. Enel attacked frantically, but was resolved one by one by Luffy's armed color domineering. Luffy walked to Enel and gave him a big fight. Enel staggered and was knocked down again. Killing people and destroying their hearts, no wonder this is so. Mr. Yi Xiao was leaning against the pillar in the back, like a quiet old handsome man. Luffy waved behind him. Come on, friends, you also try to use this incompetent thunder god as a punching bag. Enelu was flashing with lightning. You, you are going too far. Zoro took the lead in pulling out a knife and slashed two sword chi, and Enelu's long earlobes fell off. Your long earlobes are quite annoying, I'll help you. Enelu screamed in pain. Ah, you fool. Sanji suddenly appeared in his face. Hey, lend me a light, light a cigarette, is that okay? Sanji poked Enelu with a cigarette butt and smoked a cigarette with the help of lightning. You, 30 million volts Thunderbird. Enelu hit the thunder drum behind him, and a huge thunderbird hit Sanji directly. Sanji was wrapped in armament hockey all over his body, resisted thunderbird without any injury, and then stepped on Enel's face. It's a bit itchy, then what? Attacking a beautiful lady, this is the price you have to pay. Enel was about to say something, but was surprised to find that two hands suddenly grew on his shoulders, and the palms were still dark. It was Robin who took action. Two rounds of flowers blooming, continuous slaps. Enel's face was slapped, and he covered his face with anger. Ah! It hurts. How is this possible? A kin suddenly flashed behind Enel. From your appearance, is it the drum behind you that gives you the capital to be arrogant? I'll help you take it down. A kin took the drum down with his strong hands, and Enel immediately bleeds and screams in pain. Stop it. Enel suddenly found that his feet were caught and Chopper swung Enel and threw him repeatedly in a Hulk style. Chopper said disdainfully, What a weak god. Enelis lay on the ground, dying. Luffy saw this and hurriedly stopped him, All right, all right. Everyone, don't kill him directly. Enelis, you are the first to receive such hospitality, are you touched? Luffy chuckled. Enelis forcibly stimulated his heart with electric shocks and climbed up with difficulty. It's too much, how can you no matter what? You all go to hell. Ten thousand thunders. Quote. Luffy laughed at this time. Now Enelu is desperate. You can all try. Try not to use the power of the fruit. Use physical strength and domineering to resist the thunder. This hostile thunder is definitely beneficial to the improvement of physical strength. Opportunities are rare. I will use domineering to help you split the thunder and try to improve your physical strength. Don't worry about getting hurt. Even if you are really injured. Chopper is here, it can be healed instantly, and there will be no hidden injuries. Quote. Seeing this, Yi Xiao also helped to control the range of the lightning to prevent the thunder from falling into Angel Island. Is there such a thing? The companions excitedly began to try the differentiated thunder. Not very useful. Zoro frowned slightly, after all, his domineering cultivation was already very strong. But the other companions felt that this violent thunder was indeed very beneficial to the improvement of physical strength, and even began to resist more thunder. After all, in the fantasy novels of the previous life, thunder tribulations can make people reborn. Enel was so angry that he vomited blood, you are bullying too much. Just activate the Ark Proverbs and you will all be buried with the people of Sky Island. Zoro glanced at the huge Ark in the distance and pulled out Snow Walk. One sword styled on. The huge arc proverbs was cut into two pieces by the sword energy and disappeared directly. Enel. No. No. My proverbs. My infinite land. Zoro disdainfully put away the knife. It's gone now. Quote. Mr. Yi Xiao laughed in the back. It seems that Mr. Zoro's swordsmanship is not much inferior to those world-class swordsmen who are famous in history. Zoro turned back confidently. Thank you for your good words. Mr. Yi Xiao. Enelu screamed hysterically. Why are you doing this? What good are those ignorant people from Sky Island? This Sky Island should be completely destroyed like Bika where I was born. Yi Xiao said angrily. 
Is this the reason why you want to destroy Sky Island? You also destroyed your hometown. What kind of scumbag are you? Quote. In the original work, the destruction of Sky Island Vika was just mentioned in passing, but how many innocent lives did this mean? Did Sky Island Vika deserve to be destroyed? Moreover, the original Luffy's going out to sea was just like a third-generation ancestor taking a group of younger brothers to experience life and the romance of the pirate world, but how many people were harmed by his childish innocence? If other people did the same thing as Luffy in the original work, they would not be able to die no matter how many lives they had. Looking at this pirate world from the perspective of others, you can only see two bloody words cannibalism. Luffy shook his head and said, don't advise others to be kind without experiencing their suffering. Enelu, I don't know how the Bika people treat you, but do you think that destroying the entire Bika, destroying this sky island, and harming everyone, you are right? Enelu roared, ha 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 ha, of course, I am God, God can't be wrong, every one of them deserves to die. Do you think you are righteous by doing this? Ha 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 ha, nothing can be changed, quote, all the partners and ye shall fell into deep thought, and Luffy sighed softly. Sure enough, we can't communicate. Enelu's experience is just the tip of the iceberg of this world. However, it is not unique. What should justice be? I in this world have been born as Luffy. Maybe the light of the world has been lit, and maybe the gears of the times have already started to turn. What is the unity of body and mind, and the three in one of mind, body and skills? There is one thing that even Blackbeard has to agree with, that is the winner is justice. History has always been written by the victors, and the losers can only eat dust. If you can't win, you can't save anything without strength, you can't change anything, you can only hate your own incompetence. If Luffy is still as childish and ridiculous as in the original, how many people will he harm? Become the Pirate King. He can't understand why Luffy in the original became what can the Pirate King do? Maybe he will repeat the same mistakes. You can be naive, but not childish. Now they are not going out to sea to become the Pirate King. What they need to do now is to make the lives of most people better. Roger failed, and even Joy Boy failed. They have also reached the top of the world. Since the soul of another world has merged with Luffy, he can't repeat the same mistakes. One step at a time, you will know who you want to be if you keep going. Luffy's heart was full of mixed feelings, and black and red lightning crackled on his body. Yi Xiao suddenly felt something. Friend Luffy. Could it be that you? Luffy turned around and smiled. Ah. Overlord color entangled. It's too rough to use it. Now it's great if I can wrap up once out of five attacks. Moreover, the fruit ability seems to have awakened a long time ago. However, in order to completely master the power of the sun god, the body and mind must surpass it, and it may not be used now. Quote. Yes, Luffy has already begun to master the wrapping of Conqueror's Hockey. It's just that the usage is too rough. Since Conqueror's Hockey can be used to wrap around attacks, it can naturally be used for defense. Luffy doesn't understand what happened to Luffy in the original work, and he actually reached the sky in one step. In the original work, Luffy's two years of training caught up with the efforts of the four emperors for decades, and Zoro also achieved it in one step. Does Oda just want to speed up the progress? Does Oda just want to cheat for the protagonist group? Luffy in this world has awakened Conqueror's Hockey more than ten years ago, and has been accumulating until now, and he has barely reached this level by cheating. Enelu was suddenly ignored and was also shocked and angry. What are you talking about? What Conqueror's Hockey entanglement? What fruit ability awakening? You actually gave me a chance to recover, die. 200 million volts Thor. Luffy shook his head gently. That's enough, Enelu. I can only say that you were born at the wrong time. Enelu roared crazily. Nonsense. Luffy took a deep breath. Let me try, the domineering color entanglement that I have gradually mastered. Luffy's fist was filled with domineering domineering. Sunday. Finish, I didn't touch it at all. What on earth, is going on? Why, why, I have become a god. Why did I still lose? Under Enelu's desperate eyes, the 200 million volt thunder god and himself were directly wiped out between heaven and earth, leaving no trace. Luffy slowly landed, and the ability of the natural system thunder fruit was automatically collected. Mr. Yi Xiao joked, ha 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 ha, it seems that Luffy's strength has completely stood at the top of the world. 
Luffy shook his head. Not enough. Mr. Yi Xiao, if you want to change this world, it's far from enough. Quote. Mr. Yi Xiao said with a chuckle. Speaking of which, I really regret going blind now. Maybe, I also want to open my eyes and see this not so beautiful world. Luffy said solemnly. There is a chance, Mr. Yi Xiao. When Chopper's fruit ability is fully awakened, blindness will definitely not be a big deal. Kirin can eliminate all difficulties in the world. You will definitely have the opportunity to open your eyes and see the world. Chopper clenched his fists. I will definitely work hard. Yi Xiao was very excited. Ha ha, little friend Luffy, I'll borrow your good words. The battle against Enelu was completely over, and the priests under his command were also eliminated. At this moment, the Straw Hat adventurers stopped at Arpeyard, and Mr. Yi Xiao followed them step by step. Do you feel where the legendary Golden Country is? Luffy led everyone to the corpse of the giant snake that was cut in half by Zoro before, and asked everyone. Sanji couldn't help but tease. Ha ha, Luffy, you don't have to keep us in suspense. Everything we experienced on the way here has proved that the Golden City of the Shandians did exist. Then, the Golden City, Sandora, must exist somewhere. Luffy pointed at the giant snake's body. Look at what's hidden in the belly of this behemoth. Everyone immediately opened their observation hockey and silently sensed the situation of the giant snake, wondering. There seems to be a ruin inside this giant python. Luffy's mouth curled up and said to everyone with a smile. There may be a big secret hidden inside this giant python. Maybe the history of the Shandians is closely related to it. What a coincidence, gold was exposed in the body of this giant python. Not only that, the buildings of the ruins can also be vaguely seen. Zoro drew his sword and swung a few sword chi, cutting the giant python into several sections again. Everyone looked closely and exclaimed in surprise. What was amazing was that the giant python had something that had not been completely digested in the past 400 years, damaged buildings and countless gold. Luffy chuckled and said, These are all our spoils, Nami, all this gold is yours. Nami was overjoyed and jumped to collect the treasures on the ground. She almost hugged Luffy and kissed him. Yi Xiao used his observation hockey to carefully identify the shapes of these ruins and frowned. These, seem to be closely related to the Shandians. Are they the buildings of the ancient Shandians? Nami didn't care about that. Seeing the gold all over the ground, her eyes were almost blinded. The eyes have turned into the shape of Bailey. Gold, so much gold, all mine, so many valuable things, we've become rich overnight. Robin pondered. The ancient Shandia ruins of Arpaiado are just the tip of the iceberg exposed on the surface. The ruins in this giant python are just a microcosm. The real Shandia city, Shandora has probably been covered in history and may even be buried deep underground. Smiled. Unique insights, I'm afraid the real history of the Shandia people is not far off. The ancient city of Shandora of the Shandia people was washed up to 10,000 meters in the sky by the huge ocean current 400 years ago. This magnificent city has also been washed away by time and forgotten, but it is here. Unfortunately, the war between the Shandia people and the natives of Sky Island 400 years ago caused them to lose their rule over Arpaiado. If not, the ruins here would not be buried forever in the cruel wind and sand. According to Gon Fowl, Enel suddenly descended from the sky with the priests six years ago. Enel quickly ruled Sky Island with absolute strength, forcing him to disappear, and he was powerless to resist. So, Arpayard also fell into Enel's hands. Enel occupied the Golden Country, smelted gold to build the Ark Proverbs, and prepared to go to the Infinite Land. This is the dark period that Sky Island has experienced in the past six years. The Straw Hat Pirates and Yi Xiao continued to move forward and came to a more magnificent ruins. Looking at the endless palaces in front of them, everyone was also shocked, and the glory of the Shandians was visible. Is this the golden country of the Shandians, and also the ancient city, Shandora that disappeared for 400 years? Robin was excited and looked around very enthusiastically. Luffy scratched his head. The truth of history may not be just that, let's continue to walk into the ruins. Everyone agreed. Soon, everyone found a tunnel. After investigation, it was found that this was not the real golden city. The nine members of the Straw Hat Pirates and Yi Xiao climbed to the top of the ruins and looked down at the magnificent scenery. 
Robin knocked on the floor tiles and showed joy. Sure enough, this place is connected to the bottom. There should be a huge city below. Sandora is an ancient city built underground. Amazing, really amazing. It's hard to imagine how the ancient Shandians did it. How glorious their clan used to be. Going forward all the way, finally, everyone finally discovered the true appearance of Sandora, blue bricks and white tiles, and the continuous palace group quietly waiting for those who were interested. Time is cruel, the wear and tear of the ruins makes people sigh. Yi Xiao stood in front of a huge stone and called out to everyone. This is, Luffy, come and see this. Robin came and was shocked. This, this is the historical text of the Shandians living in, Shandora. Luffy and others could not understand the dense text on it, but they could also feel the weight of history. Robin stroked the huge historical text stone and muttered to himself. This ancient city, Shandora, I didn't expect it to be traced back to more than a thousand years ago. A thousand years ago, the Shandians lived and worshipped here, and the civilization was prosperous. And the ancient civilization of the Shandians was destroyed 800 years ago. Yi Xiao frowned when he heard it. 800 years ago, wasn't that the hundred years when the world history was blank? What happened in this world during that hundred years? There is no relevant record of that hundred years. Why did the world government try so hard to erase this history that should have existed? What are they hiding? What is the truth that the world must not know? Miss Robin, it is said that your hometown Ohara was destroyed because of the exploration of the blank 100 years, and even got the exact answer. Quote. It's all over. The living people still have to work hard to live, which is the greatest comfort to those martyrs, Robin shook his head calmly, and then continued. Sandora is likely to be part of the once glorious and ideal huge kingdom. The Shandians once cast a huge Sandora bell with gold. You see, there is even a record here that the world government once tried to rob it. Unfortunately, the world government did not succeed completely, otherwise this historical text would not be kept. Luffy was also full of emotion. The weight of history is left for future generations to comment. Witnesses come to witness, and recorders live to remember. Quote, Everyone was silent and could only pay their respects to the huge stone in front of them. The later generations followed in the footsteps of their ancestors and admired that unknown history. Time turned the story into a magnificent epic. Okay, we've finished touring Shandora. We should also go find the big bell made of gold, the Shandora bell. Luguo raised his hand and slightly blocked the dazzling sunlight. Usopp asked in confusion. The golden town has been found, but where is the Shandora bell? It is not buried here with the ruins. Could it be that, it has decayed? Luffy smiled gently. Usopp, the golden bell, that is, the Shandora bell will not disappear. There is no trace of it on the ground. Is it possible that it is in the sky? Vivi was shocked again and doubted her life. Heaven, heaven, but we are already in the sky now. Akin proposed a different opinion and said, I guess the sky that the captain said is higher up in the sky. Akin followed Luffy's gaze and looked into the distance, where a huge vine stood. The group also looked at the huge vines towering into the sky in the distance. Could it be, that place? Luffy's observation hockey unfolded, and he smiled mysteriously. Whether it is or not, we will know if we go up and take a look. Mr. Yi Xiao, do you want to go up and take a look too? Yi Xiao scratched his head and refused. Oh, forget it, I won't go up, my romantic adventure ends here. There is still a battle outcome to be announced on Angel Island, and the people need to be comforted. There are many things to deal with later. Such a romantic adventure will be left to you young people. I will wait for good news. I wish you all good luck. Mr. Yi Xiao disappeared from the spot after he finished speaking, and it seemed that he returned the same way. Luffy did not force it after hearing this. Yi Xiao returned to Angel Island in a short while and nodded to Gon Fowl in the middle of the crowd. God no longer exists. From now on, Sky Island is no longer ruled by God. Sky Island no longer needs God, and I will not ascend to God's throne again. From now on, the hatred between Sky Island people and Shandian people will no longer exist, and the two tribes will establish a bridge of friendship and stop fighting here. Sky Island will usher in a brand new tomorrow, and the two tribes will be indistinguishable from each other and rule the brand new Sky Island together. Gone full who was still maintaining order on Angel Island, 
Sai Yi shout triumphantly, and immediately understood, and announced loudly, and the cheers of Angel Island were endless. Weppa and other Shandian people also put down their weapons, stepped forward and hugged and cried with the Sky Island people. At this time, on the other side, Luffy and his companions have already climbed to the top of the huge vines with Moon Step. Once they reached the top, the Straw Hat pirates were stunned by the scene in front of them. The Bell of Shandora, standing quietly in the lonely sky, the giant bell made of gold is shining. Even after the erosion of time, it still shines. Oh my god, this is the golden bell. The golden bell is really here. Nami's eyes have turned into the shape of Bailey. You can't take this away. Nami, Luffy knocked on Nami's head. Ah, it hurts. I know, Luffy, I won't be greedy. Nami squatted down with her head covered. There seemed to be a fire burning in Zoro's eyes. Then, Captain, ring the golden bell. Show the sky island, show the world that the golden country exists. Sanji was also very excited. Go, Captain, use this to announce that Sky Island has won. Vivi said in a trance. Here. It's so gorgeous. Luffy, you have to ring it. Of course. Luffy rubbed his hands. Of course Luffy would not give up. This extremely classic scene in the original work is the most romantic interpretation of people's yearning for adventure. Although Luffy's story is not exactly the same as the original work, now he is standing here. The golden bell is here. I come, I see, I conquer. Luffy took a deep breath, enlarged his fist, attached a certain amount of armed color domineering, swung his fist and shouted. The golden town, is real. Luffy's words were sonorous and powerful, and the sound spread thousands of miles. Dong, 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 the sound of the golden bell, the bell of Shandora spread throughout the Sky Island, and all the people of the Sky Island and Shandia excitedly worshipped and burst into tears. The beautiful bell that once resounded through the sky, at this moment, once again resounded in the ears of everyone living on the Sky Island, and resounded in everyone's heart. Luffy's huge laughing figure wearing a straw hat also illuminated the sky with the scorching sun. In the sea below Sky Island, Kulikit and the Ape Brothers cried with joy. Mr. Luffy, you really did it. Ancestor Rolando, you have never lied to anyone. You are not a big liar. The Golden Country, really exists. The Shandians and Sky Islanders are headed the 400-year war, Rolando's faith, and Kulikiti's persistence were all resolved at this moment. The news of Enel's defeat drifted into thousands of households like snowflakes, and Sky Island officially announced the end of the era of divine rule and the victory of the Sky Island Defense War. This moving bell eliminated the hatred between races and gave countless people a place to return to their obsessions. The Sky Islanders and the Shandia people put aside their past grudges, gathered together, sang and danced, and held a banquet, which was very lively. Seeing this scene that would never exist in his concept, Weipa couldn't help himself, hugged his people and cried bitterly, he knew that there would be no more tears in every tomorrow. On the huge vines, Robin looked at the words engraved next to the historical text below the golden bell, with a look of shock on his face. Ha, huh, how can there be ancient words here? This is, the message of the pirate king, Galdi. Roger. Robin was very strange. This kind of text had been lost for a long time. How did Roger know it? Although it is not surprising that such a pirate king could arrive here, is there really anyone other than himself who can write a message in ancient literature? Luffy had already put on his straw hat tightly. Although he already knew that Roger's message in the original book was near this place, Luffy still asked with a smile. Ah, Gall D. Roger's message. What did he leave for those who came after him? Robin looked at Luffy solemnly and translated word by word. I came here and took this article to the end of the world. The signature is, Gall D. Roger. Luffy exhaled softly. Is that so? Then can you help me engrave a sentence next to Roger's message? Chopper was shocked. What, Luffy, are you going to do this? Luffy smiled back, and Robin also smiled happily. Of course, our captain. What sentence do you want to engrave? The fire in Luffy's eyes was burning, and his words fell to the ground. Just engrave this sentence. This is the worst time, and the best time. Monkey D. Luffy. Okay. This trip to Sky Island is really worthwhile. All the set goals have been achieved. Luffy's mood was completely relaxed, and the companions around him also smiled knowingly. This trip can be said to be very fruitful. By the way, Nami. 
This is that natural system thunder fruit that I promised to help you find before, which is also the fruit ability of Enelu. Luffy flipped his wrist lightly, and a devil fruit with a blue body and lightning shaped patterns appeared in Luffy's hand. Eh ha ha ha. Have you successfully taken it? Vivi didn't find out when Luffy did it, and she still felt incredible after watching it again. Nami's eyes lit up. Thunder fruit. Ha 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 ha. The natural system thunder fruit. Nami took the thunder fruit from Luffy's hand and couldn't put it down to play with it. Luffy said seriously, Pay attention, Nami. Even after you have the power of the thunder fruit, you must never slack off in your training of physical skills and hockey. The most powerful force in this sea is still hockey. However, you have been practicing and traveling with us for so long, and you don't need more urging. Keep working hard. Now that you have such a fruit ability, you will eventually be able to stand at the top of the sea. This natural system thunder fruit is indeed the most suitable ability for you. You are extremely sensitive to the weather and have a good grasp of the weather. After eating the thunder fruit, your combat power will be greatly increased. Luffy and his companions watched Nami swallow that natural system thunder fruit with a smile, and no one had any negative emotions because everyone knew that their captain kept his word. Everyone's strength is also increasing day by day. Nami made a bitter face expression. You, so bitter. The taste of the devil fruit is really hard to describe. Nami saw Luffy's serious expression and saluted. Yes, sir. Luffy looked at the playful Nami helplessly. Okay, okay. How do you feel? Try your ability of natural system thunder fruit. Nami hummed, and the lightning in her hand crackled. Wakaka, I feel very light. My senses are also much sharper. Oh oh oh, I got an electric shock. Oh no, I turned into pure lightning. Nami was very excited and couldn't wait to explore the ability of the thunder fruit. Thunder punishment. Nami tried Enel's god punishment before, but it was too embarrassing to call it god punishment, so she simply named it thunder punishment. Luffy saw nothing unusual. Nami's control over thunder was amazing, and then continued. Nami, you should have felt how much Enel had developed this fruit before. Although he relies on the devil fruit, it is undeniable that he really developed the thunder fruit to a considerable level. Nami quickly calmed down. Well, yes, Enel's development of the thunder fruit is definitely not low, otherwise he would not dare to call himself a god, but I don't plan to follow Enel's old path. The effect of eating the thunder fruit is the body turns into electricity, and physical attacks are ineffective against it. It can release high voltage currents at will to attack. It can move at lightning speed. It can also use radio waves to strengthen the range of observation hockey. It has terrifying destructive power and electrotherapy ability. Luffy, didn't you say that I am extremely sensitive to the weather? In fact, after having the ability of the thunder fruit, I feel that I can control the weather changes within a certain range. It greatly increases my combat power and destructive power. I feel like I am a human disaster. This the power of the fruit is too scary. Luffy chuckled. Yeah, yes, the abilities that Enelu developed from the Thunder Fruit are Teleport. Using the electric field released by the Thunder Fruit, the incarnation of electric current moves in the electric field and ignores obstacles. Discharge. Release lightning attacks, and the current maximum developed is 200 million volts of Thunder God. Lightning. With the palm facing up, a huge lightning with dazzling light is released from the hand, and its destructive power is amazingly destructive. Inazuma. Change from the wrist to thunder attack. Thunder shock. Use use lightning to break the air to generate supersonic shock waves, which can shake off any attack close to you. Electrotherapy. Use electric current to shock your heart, which can make a stopped heart beat again. Thunder metallurgy. Use electric heat to melt metal and then make it into the shape you want. 10,000 thunders. Release lightning and form thunderclouds in the air, and use thunderclouds to release lightning. The places covered by thunderclouds are all within the attack range. Thunder welcome. Release lightning and form thunderclouds in the air, and use thunderclouds to gather lightning to form ball lightning. One strike can destroy an island. The island is raised to the ground. God's punishment. Releases a large-scale high voltage and strong current thunder from the wrist. After hitting the target, it forms a thunder column and spreads around, causing a large bombing. 30 million volts thunder beast. Hit the drum on the left shoulder to release giant beast type thunder and lightning with physical attack power. 30 million volts thunderbird. 
hit the drum on the right shoulder to release giant bird type thunder and lightning, which is faster than Thunder Beast. 60 million volts Thunder Dragon. Hit the drums on both shoulders at the same time to release dragon type thunder and lightning, combining the power of Thunder Beast and the speed of Thunderbird. 200 million volts Thunder God, the maximum volt developed by Enel. The real horror of the Thunder Fruit ability is to release all the thunder and lightning power, so that the thunder and lightning surround the body and increase the size, transforming into the form of the Void Thunder God. Zoro couldn't help but hold his forehead. After Luffy and Enel had a fight, Enel had been completely analyzed. There is no secret at all. Nami couldn't help but stare. Captain, what is this? Are you an all-powerful self-propelled illustrated book? Luffy gave Nami a slap in the face. Nonsense. I just give you a relative reference. Luffy would not tell everyone that this was the search information given by Baidu in his previous life. That would be so embarrassing. Luffy said seriously. However, since you don't plan to follow Enel's old path, you can't fall behind in the practice of combining domineering and physical skills. Nami assured with great confidence. I guarantee to complete the task. Also, the ability of the thunder fruit must include more than just controlling thunder. Electromagnetic force should also be included. Nami, you should also have a certain understanding of the control of electromagnetic force. That will be of great benefit to you. Quote. Luffy said in a deep voice. Electromagnetic force. What is that? It sounds so powerful. Usopp always has a special liking for this kind of scientific knowledge. Luffy smiled and popularized science. Electromagnetic force it is one of the four fundamental forces. The definition of electromagnetic force is that the electrostatic force between two static charged bodies is the vector sum of the interaction forces between the charges that constitute them. Electrostatic force is transmitted through the electric field, that is, the charged body generates an electric field around it, and the electric field exerts a force on the other charged body placed in it, and the electrostatic force on the two charged bodies is equal. The factors affecting electromagnetic force may be, the amount of charge, the distance between the two charges, the shape and size of the charged body, the environment, the mass, etc. Once you master the control and domination of electromagnetic force, it is hard to imagine how powerful it will be. Quote, Usopp. Unbelievable. Sanji, Ajin, Robin and others all widened their eyes, it's really a wild idea. Quote. Nami wrote down Luffy's words with difficulty and patted her chest. Okay, Captain, I've got it. Is there anything else I should pay attention to? Luffy suddenly grinned. Since you have become thunder and have the possibility of mastering electromagnetic force, I will also teach you the skill of Masaka Makoto's super railgun. After Luffy finished speaking, he used the power of the system to transmit Masaka Makoto's information into Nami's brain. Ha, huh, this is the super railgun. It seems to be a skill that injects electrical energy into the coin and uses the potential energy of electromagnetic force to launch the coin. Nami shook her hair and continued. Once I master the super railgun, won't I become a human turret again? Luffy said helplessly. Nami, it's not that easy to master. In this world, injecting so much energy into Bailey's coin will melt before it is launched. Therefore, Bailey must be wrapped with extremely strong armed color domineering first. Nami's eyes suddenly lit up. Yes, this is a direction. Thank you, Captain. Name, Nami. Observation Hockey. Second stage, perception range increased dramatically, 79%. Armament Hockey. Second stage, external release, 44%. Physical skills. Iron block. 89% proficient. Shave. 78% perfect. Paper drawing. 66% proficient. Moon step. 40% perfect. Storm kick. 90% proficient. Finger gun. 75% proficient. Instant step. 40% perfect. Collapse fist. 32% perfect. Devil fruit. Nature system thunder fruit awakening progress 40%. The night of Sky Island is full of moonlight. Let's have a party. The story of Sky Island is about to end, how can we miss the grand party of traditional arts? The Straw Hat Adventurers, the people of Sky Island, the Shandians, and even Mr. Yi Xiao gathered together to drink under the moon. Luffy raised his glass and drank. Everyone, let's laugh together. Oh, all kinds of playful sounds were heard. The golden bell, the bell of Shandora is at the top of the huge vine. After the party, Let's try to bring the golden bell back to our payard.
Luffy drank the wine in the glass. The bell of Shandora, it's great to be able to recover it. Gone Fowl and Wepper clinked glasses and drank together. Robin was also a little drunk. Well, the historical text below the Golden Bell records the location of the ancient weapon Sea King. It seems that if all the historical texts are connected together, it will be the real history. Nami and Vivi put their arms around Robin's shoulders. Who cares? Let's drink while we can. Wepper toasted the straw hat pirates loudly, and even tears welled up in his eyes. Thank you so much. We really can't repay you. The huge golden pillars we dug out are all given to you. If you don't accept them, we will feel guilty. Luffy smiled and waved his hand. Okay, okay, we'll take it. Men don't cry easily. Ha 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 ha. Some Shandia tribesmen were watching their great warrior make a fool of themselves. Gonful also raised his glass to toast. Thank you to all the people who helped this place. Without you, the people of Sky Island and Shandia might never have reconciled. Ha ha, thank you for your kindness. Yi Xiao did not choose to accept this gift. Aisha, in my impression, Qinghai people are not good people. It turns out that this is too one-sided. The Shandians and Sky Islanders shook hands and made peace, and everyone was happy. The history of the Shandians has never been forgotten. The future of the Sky Islanders will be better. The Straw Hat Pirates will never forget this adventure on Sky Island. Luffy raised his arms and shouted. Gone Full also announced excitedly. Everyone, please listen to me. Now I, an old guy, am no longer suitable to be the king of two countries. From now on, Angel Island and Arpaiado will be indistinguishable from each other. No one will ascend to the God's throne again in Sky Island in the future. I have discussed with Mr. Yixiao that many powerful Qinghai people will land in this country one after another after this. They have a name in Qinghai, the Revolutionary Army. They will also live in peace with all of us and jointly protect this beautiful Sky Island. Sky Island will be more prosperous in the not-too-distant future. The upcoming Qinghai friends, that is, the Revolutionary Army, will make Sky Island even more powerful. And, in order to commemorate the day when Angel Island and Arpaiado are indistinguishable and work together, Sky Island will be renamed, Sky City under the recommendation of all races and all people. The applause resounded through the sky like thunder, cheers rose, and the people were excited. Yes, Mr. Yi Xiao has reached a consensus and agreement with the Sky Islanders and Shandia people. The Revolutionary Army will establish a new headquarters of the Revolutionary Army here, Sky City. The Revolutionary Army shelters all Sky Island residents, and all Sky Island residents will coexist harmoniously with the Revolutionary Army and benefit each other. The Revolutionary Army will be transferred here one after another, and transportation will be completely open to the Revolutionary Army and the Straw Hat Pirates. Travel will be helped by various Sky Island specialties, various giant creatures. The problem of inconvenient transportation has also been solved. In the near future, the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army will be transferred from Baldigo to Sky Island, oh no, it should be called Sky City now. When Dorag learned of the news, he was overjoyed and quickly announced various matters. As the commander-in-chief of the Revolutionary Army, Dorag's orders were executed without deviation, and the relocation of the Revolutionary Army was also carried out in full swing in secret. Sky City will become the new headquarters of the Revolutionary Army. After the banquet, the Straw Hat Pirates, who were free from worries, received the best hospitality. They were fully relaxed and had a good dream all night. It is worth mentioning that, with the joint efforts of the residents of Angel Island and the Shandia clan, the Straw Hat Pirates became the new guardians of the Sky City. They regarded this as a spiritual symbol. Luffy could only accept this. Pagaya and Kanis, father and daughter, made a white flag with a straw hat smiley face, the symbol of the Straw Hat Adventure Group, based on the style of the Qinghai flag. This flag fluttered at the highest point of the Sky City. The next morning, the Straw Hat Adventure Group packed up their luggage, and Mr. Yi Xiao also boarded the Mary to prepare for the return trip. Everyone boarded the Golden Mary and waved to the, the enthusiastic people said goodbye and prepared to leave. Hey, hey, hey. Luffy, you don't want to let the Mary fall straight down, do you? Chopper hugged Luffy's trouser legs tightly. Luffy smiled. Of course not. Chopper. Luffy turned back and nodded to Connus. Connus, please. Connus smiled quietly and blew the whistle in her mouth. 
a huge octopus came and wrapped the golden Mary. Well, goodbye, everyone, see you again if we are lucky, Connus. The straw hat pirates waved goodbye to the enthusiastic residents of the Sky City, and the residents of the Sky City also rang the golden bell to thank the straw hat adventure group. The huge octopus held the Golden Mary and landed smoothly on the Sea of the Grand Line, naturally without any twists and turns. Well, I'll say goodbye now. I have to go back to Baldigo to tell you everything that happened this time. He returned to his ship with a smile and said goodbye to the Straw Hat Pirates. In this way, the Straw Hat Pirates' adventure on Sky Island ended here. And, the next stop, to be continued. Grand Line, Navy G8 Branch. Vice Admiral Jonathan anxiously picked up the Den Den Mushi and dialed a number. Bulu Bulu, Bulu Bulu. In the Navy headquarters, Marinford, in the office of Navy Admiral Sengoku, the rapid and magical Den Den Mushi rang. Sengoku quickly picked up the Den Den Mushi and connected the line. Sengoku looked at the image of a middle aged man with a thick mustache and fell into deep thought. What happened, Vice Admiral Jonathan? The Navy G8 branch can't be attacked, right? Sengoku's rough voice formed a sharp contrast with the sound of his pet sheep next to him. It's really a big deal. Marshal Sengoku. Just now, the Navy G8 branch almost suffered an air attack. A giant octopus holding a huge ship almost smashed on the top of the Navy G8 branch. But the ship didn't seem to have the intention to attack the Navy G8 branch. The giant octopus holding the ship passed directly over our heads. Now the ship should have landed in the sea not far from the G8 branch. Lieutenant General Jonathan took a deep breath and quickly reported what he saw with his own eyes. Zhang Guo frowned immediately. Lieutenant General Jonathan, do you want to hear what you are saying? If your mental state is not good, we can approve you to take a long vacation to have a good rest. Don't give us such a fantastic reason. Lieutenant General Jonathan was furious. It's true. This is what all the officers and soldiers of RG-8 branch saw with their own eyes. The ship whizzed past. Zan Guo. Quote dot 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 quote. Lieutenant General Jonathan was dry in the mouth, drank a sip of water and continued. Just now we thought it was an attack by a pirate ship, but think about it carefully, it was just a misunderstanding. Because the ship was flying a white flag. But the young Colonel Smoker, who you sent here for training, took out a telescope to observe and immediately chase the ship with his weapon. Quote. Zhang Guo was shocked. What? You just said Smoker chased it. What does the flag on the ship look like? Jonathan recalled for a while and said. The ship looks strange, the flag is white, and there is a smiling face wearing a straw hat printed on it. Zhang Guo immediately said hurriedly. Quick, quick, call back that fool Smoker. That's the ship of the straw hat adventurers. When they first emerged, they crushed Sand Crocodile in the desert, and then suppressed Germa 66 without any injury. They claim to be partners of justice, and now the Navy is doing its best to win them over. The nomination of the captain of the Straw Hat Adventurers to become the Seven Warlords of the Sea has been approved by the world government. We must not let Smoker ruin things. If they have the intention to kill Smoker, Smoker will not survive. Lieutenant General Jonathan was also shocked when he heard this. From our head the straw hat adventurers are the ones flying by. The straw hat adventurers that have become famous recently. Quote. Zhang Guo roared. It's almost certain. I was wondering why I didn't receive any information about the straw hat adventurers in the past few days, and I couldn't find them even if I sent people to look for them. It turns out that they actually landed on the legendary Sky Island at an altitude of 10,000 meters. Don't act rashly. They are not opponents you can handle, and you must never make enemies with them. Lieutenant General Jonathan was also in a panic. I will find a way to contact Smoker right now. Not far from the G8 branch. The Golden Mary sailed leisurely on the set route. Luffy suggested with a smile. Let's set the next destination in Water City. Although our Mary has no damage, we have to go there to upgrade it. Besides, there are crew members we need to find there. Straw Hat Boy. Before Luffy finished speaking, a shout came from afar. The Straw Hat pirates turned around and saw a Navy ship approaching quickly from afar. Navy. An acquaintance. Vivi looked out at the sea. Puff. An acquaintance. Why is it him again? Is he the Iron Head Boy? The loss we suffered last time and the time before that wasn't enough, is this guy so reckless? Nami bent over with laughter. 
Who is it? Do we know each other? Chopper and Mary asked in confusion. Luffy nodded and said. Yes, I know him. Navy Colonel, Smoker, Smoker, why is he here? It's fate. Robin was surprised. Smoker, is that the iron-headed kid from Alabasta last time? Sanji walked out of the kitchen. Yes, he. Doesn't he have anything else to do? He's always following us. He's too brave. Smoker. Just kidding, I'm super brave. Smoker turned into smoke and boarded the deck of the Mary. No one stopped him, and there was no threat anyway. Straw Hat Pirates, what's your purpose? Smoker shouted as soon as he got on the ship. This guy, doesn't he have anything else to do? Zoro continued to lift weights silently after saying that. Usopp handed Smoker a bottle of wine directly. Would you like to drink? Good wine from Sky Island, rarely seen on the Grand Line. Smoker. I. Don't interrupt. I was just about to ask you. How did you fly over the G8 branch? Luffy stretched. Are you asking a hundred thousand whys? We just came back, and the G8 branch of the Navy is not far below, just passing by. Smoker. Vivi's palm was wrapped in armament hockey, and she stepped forward to extinguish the smoke all over Smoker's body. Don't worry, we have no ill intentions, we just flew over. You are, the princess of the kingdom of Alabasta. Have you joined the Straw Hat Pirates too? Smoker silently looked at the dark-colored palm on his shoulder, and then looked at his elemental body that was caught again, and suddenly fell into confusion. So, Mr. Smoker is out on a mission. Do you need us to send you back to the G8 branch of the Navy? Agent spoke faintly. Smoker. Quote comma quote. Just then, Vice Admiral Jonathan's car arrived late. Calm down. Calm down. Don't do anything. Ah, is it Mr. Luffy? I am Vice Admiral Jonathan, the garrison of the G8 branch of the Navy. Ah, this is all a misunderstanding. Mr. Luffy, Marshal Sengoku has said that your nomination as the Seven Warlords of the Sea has been approved by the world government. You should receive the appointment letter soon. Quote. Luffy smiled slightly. Is that so? Thank you for your hard work, Vice Admiral Jonathan. We have something else to do, so we won't stop here. Vice Admiral Jonathan wiped the non-existent sweat on his head. Not hard, not hard, please do as you please. After saying this, Vice Admiral Jonathan took Smoker back to the G8 branch of the Navy. Seven Warlords of the Sea. Luffy, are we really going to become Seven Warlords of the Sea? Robin was slightly surprised. Well, yes, soon, it should be your acquaintance who brings us this news. Luffy relaxed. Keep going. We still have to rest at Long Chain Island ahead. Got it, Captain. Quote. The cute melee echoed. At dusk that day, the Straw Hat Pirates finally approached the waters near the Long Chain Island. During the voyage, the Golden Mary encountered the sea monkeys living in the waters near the Long Chain Island, just like in the original story. They are a group of strange creatures that are comparable in size to marine creatures. They are obviously marine creatures, but they have monkey-like heads and fish-like bodies, and they are particularly fond of playing pranks. However, the Straw Hat Pirates at this moment are very different from the Straw Hat Pirates in the original story. The mere sea monkeys naturally cannot pose a threat. This group of sea monkeys set off huge waves, and as soon as they emerged, they were frightened by the domineering aura released by Sanji who poked his head out of the kitchen. Go play somewhere else. A bunch of beasts. If you emerge again, I will eat you as a snack. After saying this, Sanji also showed the shiny kitchen knife in his hand. The group of sea monkeys immediately fled in all directions. I won't bother you, I'm leaving. Well, it's calm. It seems that Long Chain Island is a good place to rest. Luffy looked at the horizon of Long Chain Island and said. Ha, huh, it's finally calm. If such strange creatures attack us again, I will use thunder to strike them. Nami breathed a sigh of relief, but the crackling lightning in her hand could not be ignored. The huge waves raised by the Sea Kings were blasted through by Luffy's punch, and he had to admit that in this sea, the Sea Kings are at the top of the food chain. If there were no restrictions, the Sea Kings would have dominated the sea long ago. The Straw Hat Pirates moored the Mary at the port of Long Chain Island and disembarked one by one. Oh, the endless grassland, it's really refreshing. Usopp was the first to step onto the land of Long Chain Island and couldn't help but sigh. Long Chain Island is a circle formed by ten small islands. It is named because of its overall shape like a long chain. 
there are many strange creatures on the island. Along the way, the Straw Hat Pirates encountered various long creatures on this island. This sea is really full of wonders. Luffy held a branch in his mouth and said vaguely. Long Chain Island, probably due to the strange geographical factors of Long Chain Island, the creatures on Long Chain Island are particularly long, such as this super long dog, tall bear, and long deer. Luffy pointed to the dog not far away, which was as long as the original and looked sloppy, and continued. We are just here to rest, so there is no need to care about those strange creatures. Let's maintain the ecological environment here. Everyone responded and set up a tent on the spot. At the bonfire party hosted by Sanji, the Straw Hat Pirates had dinner, counted the stars, and fell asleep. All night, they lived in peace with the magical animals on Long Chain Island, and nothing happened. The next morning, the Straw Hat Pirates woke up one after another and started their journey on Long Chain Island. It's just a relaxing trip. There shouldn't be any danger on this island, right? Chopper started talking to the long animals on the island. This island is sparsely populated, and there are no signs of human activity. There shouldn't be anyone on this island, right? Vivi also relaxed. That's not necessarily true. Now, there are people who don't know, but it is said that the indigenous humans on this island are normal. When the tide ebbs and connects the long chain of islands, the residents on the island will begin to migrate continuously. Luffy said calmly, the Grand Line is really full of wonders. Akin sighed. At this moment, two bamboo poles moved towards the Straw Hat Pirates. Ha, huh, what is this? A moving bamboo pole. Chopper ended the conversation with the magical animals on the island and poked the two bamboo poles curiously. Zoro was the first to find something wrong. Chopper, leave. That thing is wrong. Chopper jumped away immediately after hearing this. Luffy also noticed the commotion here at Chopper's place, and when he saw two moving bamboo poles, he immediately remembered the old man who had been standing on stilts for ten years in the original book. If Zoro had drawn his sword and slashed it, the old man would have turned into ash. Wait, Zoro, don't do it yet. There are people up there. After saying this, Luffy displayed his observation hockey, flew up to the sky with an instant step, and brought the old man down. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Dongjit, and I have been on these stilts for ten years. Such a high place, I am afraid of heights. If it weren't for you, I would have died of old age in the sky. The old man named Dongjit touched his head awkwardly. How can there be such a stupid person? Nami held her forehead helplessly. Oh, Shirley, my Shirley, are you still waiting for me to go home on this island? Dongjit's eyes lit up, and he ran towards the white horse resting in the distance. Dongjit hugged the white horse and started crying, and the white horse neighed in response. Straw Hat Pirates Just when everyone was speechless about the reunion of old man Dongjit and Shirley Hakuba, a gunshot suddenly came from a distance. Chopper suddenly tensed up and quickly used his observation hockey to investigate the situation. This was the instinct of an animal, to seek benefits and avoid harm. Luffy smiled lightly. Let's go. It seems that someone doesn't want us to spend a quiet vacation, so let's go and see the situation. Seeing Luffy's tone so relaxed, the Straw Hat Pirates knew that they would not encounter any strong enemies, and followed Luffy with brisk steps. In the distance, the sign of the David battle was shining. This was a game unique to pirates, but the Straw Hat Pirates were not interested in playing this kind of pirate house. Luffy recalled what Silver Fox Foxy did in the original work, turned to Chopper and said, Chopper, didn't Vice Admiral Jonathan give us a contact phone bug before? Now use Den Den Mushi to contact Vice Admiral Jonathan of G8 Branch and ask them to prepare to come and clean up the mess. Chopper almost didn't react. E.H. 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 Luffy, don't you plan to play this David battle game? So careless. Zoro chimed in. This is not a fun game. I've heard of this kind of thing too. I'll find out the details later. It seems that the captain has decided to cut this place off. Luffy nodded. Since we have all chosen to stand in the justice camp and are also planning to accept the appointment of the seven warlords of the sea under the king of the navy, then the many evil pirates here are just right to be packed up and sent to the navy as a small gift. Chopper nodded and quickly contacted G8 Branch with Vice Admiral Jonathan's Den Den Mushi. Just at this moment, a man with rosacea suddenly approached the straw hat pirates with a laugh. Ha 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 ha, 
Come play a game with us. The loser. Luffy interrupted this weirdo mercilessly. Silver Fox, Foxy, do you think we look like pirates? If it's a pirate who does good, we can ignore it, but if it's a pirate who does evil, do you think we will play this boring game with you? Silver Fox, Foxy still didn't realize what was happening. E.H., E.H., you actually refused. This is, Luffy certainly disdained to play this kind of house game with them. The original work even described this nonsensical game vividly, and interrupted Foxy's words again. Nami, Thunder, don't kill them all directly. Luffy whispered, and then released the domineering domineering that swept through thousands of troops, suppressing all the pirates here indiscriminately. Those who were still conscious could only taste Nami's thunder in a sober state. Nami smiled grimly. A total of 497 pirates. So, how well do you want it done? Quote, no pirate could react at all. After being hit by the conqueror's hockey, the pirates who were already staggering were all struck by lightning and regretted being born. As a human disaster, Nami was enough to leave them with an indelible fear. Luffy was not interested in taking Foxy's slowness fruit either. He knocked him out with one punch and threw him aside and tied him up. After a while, Long Chain Island finally quieted down. Luffy and his companions sat on the spot, enjoying the rare beauty of Long Chain Island while waiting for the arrival of the Navy. At noon, Vice Admiral Jonathan arrived with several Navy warships. Thank you very much, Mr. Luffy, I wish you to become the top of the seven warlords of the sea soon. This silver fox foxy is very slippery. Our Navy has been unable to arrest him for a long time. The large pirate group with 497 people under this guy has also made us anxious. Now, with your help, these guys are finally caught. I will report to the headquarters, this is a great achievement. Jonathan had heard that the Straw Hat adventurers were strong, but he didn't expect them to be so strong. He saw it today. In less than a day, the large pirate group, Foxy Pirates, was destroyed. Luffy waved his hand. No need to be polite, Vice Admiral Jonathan. They are yours, and it is right to destroy evil. Thank you very much, Vice Admiral Jonathan was overjoyed, because Luffy meant, the credit for destroying Foxy Pirates is their G8 branch. After that, the storm caused by Foxy Pirates was calmed down, and the Straw Hat Pirates said goodbye to old man Dongjit and set off on their journey again. The Straw Hat adventurers left Long Chain Island and continued their journey to Water City. Usopp asked with some confusion. Luffy, you were interrupted by the sudden appearance of Smoker when you said you were going to Water City. Isn't Water City a holy place for sea craftsmen? Our Mary is obviously not damaged at all, why do we have to go to Water City? Luffy raised his eyebrows. Hee hee, our Golden Mary is indeed not damaged at all, but when we arrive at Water City, Mary can have a comprehensive upgrade. There are many skilled craftsmen in Water City, and they can also help us maintain the ship. Our Golden Mary will accompany us to the end of the world. Mary showed a longing look. Big upgrade. Maintenance. Luffy touched Mary's head and continued. Besides, we went to Water City not just to upgrade Mary. The most important thing is to find an interesting shipwright to join. I can be sure that we will definitely have unexpected gains in Water City. Usopp understood. Is that so? I'm really looking forward to our new crew members. Luffy heard this and raised his mouth, thinking that the guy and you now may find a common hobby, which is really exciting. Golden Mary once again experienced a day and a night of sea voyage. The days of rushing were boring and they could only rest and move around on the ship. Not far away, an uninhabited island could be seen in front. There is an island, why don't we get off the ship and take a look? Vivi suggested. Luffy's mind moved, and he nodded. Okay, let's stay here for a while. The Mary was anchored in the harbor of an uninhabited island, and the Straw Hat Pirates once again stepped on solid land. The island where they temporarily anchored was not big. Before going ashore, they used their observation hockey to sense it and found nothing unusual. It was another island with few people. This uninhabited island was full of birdsong and flowers, and the climate was also very pleasant. After everyone discussed, they unanimously decided to find ingredients on this island, hold a bonfire party, and experience the romance of adventure. Not long after, everyone returned from hunting. Chopper and Sanji checked together and found that no one had brought back poison, so they officially set up a bonfire and started grilling. 
Many ingredients were cooked by Sanji, and soon the extremely rich food was processed. The meal with color, fragrance and taste made everyone praise Sanji's amazing cooking skills. Just as the straw hat pirates were sitting around the campfire, eating barbecue and singing, a lazy voice came from afar. Oh my, the aroma has spread far away. Seeing that you all are eating so deliciously, can I join you? A middle-aged man in a blue and white suit and an eye mask waved his hand and approached from a distance like a walk. My name is Kuzan. I was taking a nap on this island in the afternoon. Suddenly I smelled the aroma and came to take a look. You guys are really in a good mood. You are having a barbecue right here. I hope I didn't disturb you. Kuzan yawned lazily. Luffy smiled when he heard the voice. Don't bother me. Of course, you can have some meat too. Kuzan didn't expect that the straw hat Luffy in front of him would be so familiar. He subconsciously took the skewers and sat on the ground to eat. Well, it's a rare delicacy. Straw hat brother, you have a very good chef. Robin was so nervous that she was ready to fight, always on guard against the sudden attack of this middle-aged man. Luffy smiled and patted Robin on the back, comforting her. Don't be nervous, Mr. Kuzan has no hostility. Other partners also noticed Robin's loss of composure and comforted Robin. It's okay, even if he really does it, we are not afraid at all. Zoro was drinking a little wine on the side. Kuzan took in the whole scene. Oh my, it seems that Miss Robin has found her home. Luffy laughed. That's right, Mr. Kuzan is really in a good mood. A dignified admiral of the navy actually skipped work and came out to fish. See, admiral of the navy, Chopper and Vivi, who realized it later, opened their mouths in surprise. Don't worry, Admiral Kuzan has no hostility towards us. Luffy continued to grill skewers and handed the fragrant skewers to everyone before continuing. If you have anything to say, let's talk about it after you have eaten and drunk enough. There is no rush. Kuzan also showed a strange look when he heard this and scratched his head. Oh my, I was seen through. It's really scary, everyone. Should I say that you are full of confidence or really ignorant and fearless? Luffy's mouth curled up. Kuzansir, please eat first. We all know your purpose, and we'll talk after we finish eating. Oh, by the way, remember to help clean up. Quote. Kuzan heard this and said helplessly. Well, that's fine. After all, I've owed you a favor. Nami also covered her mouth when she saw this. Luffy can be so talkative in front of the Admiral of the Navy, and he is not panicked at all, not at all inferior. The Straw Hat Pirates and the Admiral of the Navy Aokiji ate and drank happily, and finally cleaned up. Kuzan pulled his eye mask and patted the dust off his suit. Then, we should get to the point, right, Luffy. Well, Admiral Aokiji, you say. Kuzan said seriously. Straw Hat Adventure Group, you should also be very clear about Robin's identity, even so, do you still want to keep her by your side? Robin is the orphan of O'Hara, wanted by the world government and regarded as the devil's child. Every group or organization she joined from childhood to adulthood has not had a good ending. Quote. Robin gritted her teeth and insisted behind him, trembling all over. It's not like that. I'm not. Luffy waved his hand. Of course it's not like that. General Aokiji, Robin has been displaced since childhood and has seen the warmth and coldness of the world. No one regards her as a companion, and Robin naturally never regards others as companions. She has been wandering around and lonely, so naturally she will not regard any place as a home. Quote. Kuzan raised his eyebrows when he heard this. So what you mean is that now that Robin has joined your straw hat adventure group, she regards you as a family. Quote. Luffy smiled slightly and brought Robin, who was comforted by Nami and Vivi behind him, forward. Mr. Kuzan, if you want to know the answer, it's better for Robin to answer it herself. Quote. Robin faced the Admiral Aokiji with tears in her eyes. Yes, Admiral Aokiji, I am no longer alone, and no ordinary person in the world has it easy. I am really lucky, my mother, my people, Mr. Soro, and you. Without your company and love, I would not be here. Kuzan was slightly moved. Don't talk nonsense. I didn't help you at all. It seems that you have really found your own place. Then I won't say much. Ah, I didn't expect that the cowardly little girl has grown up to be so graceful now. Quote. Robin suddenly bowed to the admiral. 
Yes, thanks to you. Kuzan's face was a little bit overwhelmed, so he had to change the subject. Luffy, do you know that if you accept her, every step you take will be extremely difficult, and every step you take will be stopped by countless people? Quote. Zoro stretched his body. I said General Kuzan, I didn't expect you to. Forget it, I won't comment on your thoughts. How could we not know about this, but do you think our captain would care about it? Luffy pressed the straw hat. When the enemy comes, we will fight him. When the water comes, we will block it with earth. When friends come, we have fine wine. When enemies come, we naturally have shotguns. Kuzan was silent for a long time after hearing this, and then continued. So, do you really have the confidence to face everything? Kuzan released the power of the general to the straw hat pirates. Luffy smiled and showed his signature smile. General Aokiji, do you think we have it? Quote. Luffy released his earth-shattering conqueror hockey right after he finished speaking, followed by Zoro and Sanji who also released their conqueror hockey. All the straw hat pirates instantly covered their fists with dark armament hockey. Zoro held down the scabbard, ready to draw his sword at any time, armament hockey flowing through the blade. Sanji also activated his fruit ability, his whole body was on fire, and he let out a cry that resounded through the sky. Nami was surrounded by thunder, and the weather stick was already raised. Usopp silently loaded the sniper rifle. Kin was full of strong hockey, and his brass knuckles were already on. Chopper roared, quickly became huge, and his whole body was full of light. Robin also had a solemn expression, and petals flowed between her arms. Vivi also quickly gathered the blizzard around her, as if she was facing a great enemy. Now, Admiral Aokiji, do you think we have the confidence? Luffy smiled at the astonished Admiral Aokiji. Kuzan was shocked. Are you kidding me? What kind of configuration is this? Three conqueror hockey, all of them have such amazing hockey. Didn't I hear that they are just emerging? This doesn't make sense. Moreover, two parahumans in the eyes of the navy, Luffy is a paradox gumfruit user, two mythical beasts, and two naturals. Can this be a supernova? Other supernovas can't even beat any one of them, right? Luffy asked with a smile. Mr. Kuzan, you are also a strong man standing at the top of the sea. What do you think of our strength? Do you think we have the confidence to protect Robin? Aokiji was a little dry-mouthed, because he felt that the captain of the Straw Hat Adventure Group, Monkey D. Luffy, really had the strength to threaten him. This domineering power like a deep abyss and a prison was not much less than those old monsters. The swordsman brother next to him also had the power to severely injure him. The flames of the golden-haired brother who was flaming all over also made Aokiji feel uncomfortable, and had a certain restraint on his natural ability. In addition, each of these younger generations who had liberated their strength was not simple. Aokiji was speechless and fell into deep thought. He was thinking about whether he should beat them up. Once he started, if he got angry and got into a deadly battle, then he would die. Such a group of people already have enough strength to threaten the life and safety of an admiral. If they start fighting, let alone suppressing them, it is a problem whether they can retreat unscathed. Aokiji clearly felt a sense of powerlessness in a certain sense. The Straw Hat Adventure Group will never fall into a disadvantage even if they face the strongest of the current seven warlords of the sea, the world's number one swordsman, Hawkeye. It is even very likely that Hawkeye will also fall. Aokiji thought. No wonder, no wonder Marshal Sengoku tried his best to win them over to become the seven warlords of the sea. If this straw hat boy in front of him takes office, the strongest seven warlords of the sea may change. Mr. Kuzan, what do you think? Luffy woke up the thoughtful admiral in a deep voice. In fact, Luffy didn't know what to do. They do have the ability to defeat a navy admiral now, but they may not be able to keep him completely. The straw hat pirates can't do this now. They can't become mortal enemies with the navy now. If you fight a marine admiral to death regardless of everything, then all your previous efforts will be wasted. Ah, to be honest, I now suddenly understand why Marshal Sengoku is so persistent in inviting Mr. Luffy to become one of the seven warlords of the sea. Aokiji withdrew his pressure, and everyone withdrew their abilities. Aokiji scratched his head, he didn't want to fight again. It's too troublesome, Luffy. I invite you to become the new Shichibukai as the Admiral of the Navy. You do have the ability to do everything you said before. 
This is the appointment letter signed by Marshal Sengoku. You just need to accept it. Then, I also agreed to the conditions you proposed before in the name of the Admiral of the Navy. Let's not talk about restraining one of the four emperors. The conditions proposed by the Navy to you are. You can bring your companions into the Impel Downs, no inspection is required, and there is no limit on the number of people. However, you need to propose a specific entry time to the Navy in advance. Once any riot occurs in the Impel Downs, you will be responsible for suppressing it once. And, when you enter the Impel Downs, you must be accompanied by Mr. Garp and Momoto Rabbit Jiwan, and you are not allowed to refuse. This is also the biggest concession from the above and the decision made after careful discussion. Luffy looked happy, but immediately regained his calmness, without letting Admiral Aokiji notice anything unusual. I agree to your terms. The contract is done and cannot be violated. Luffy took the appointment letter handed over by Admiral Aokiji. From this moment on, he is the new Shichibukai. Luffy's mouth is about to smile at this moment. Luffy's luck as the son of luck in this world is really not in vain. In this way, when entering Impel Down, there is no need to worry about any problems. Both of them are, own people. No matter what, they will not suddenly stand on the opposite side of themselves in Impel Down. Everything is ready, only the east wind is missing, closing the door to beat the dog is nothing more than this. Aokiji also stretched lazily after hearing this. Very good, this is almost over. By the way, you wait. I'll call that old guy Sengoku first. Tomorrow, the news that you have become Shichibukai will be spread through the Navy. The news published in the newspaper tomorrow will also be that the captain of the Straw Hat Adventure Group has become Shichibukai. Aokiji took out a Den Den Mushi. Bulu Bulu Bulu. Bulu Bulu Bulu. Bulu Bulu Bulu. Another magical sound effect of Den Den Mushi. Sengoku answered. Hello, all Allah, this is Kuzan. Is that General Aokiji? Has the appointment letter been delivered? Yes, it has been delivered. They agreed to become the seven warlords of the sea. Great, I will report it right away. Also, Sengoku, I agree to all the conditions proposed by the captain of the Straw Hat Adventure Group. They also agreed to the conditions of the Navy. What, you didn't knock them to get more, cough cough. Aokiji directly threw with a bombshell shocked the Navy headquarters. They already have the strength to threaten the life of a Navy admiral. Zhang Guo screamed on the other side. What, Aokiji, can you be responsible for what you said? Aokiji was still lazy. What is there to be responsible for? Even if that Hawkeye faced them, I'm afraid he would be defeated. Zhang Guo. Quote dot dot dot. Okay, I understand. Thank you for your hard work. Aokiji, come back and report the situation quickly. Zhang Guo hung up the phone. Aokiji was also relaxed at this moment and was ready to catch up on his sleep. Okay, my mission is complete. It's time to go back and catch up on my sleep. I hope that the decision to nominate you as the Seven Warlords of the Sea is correct. However, Luffy blocked Kuzan's way. Wait, Admiral Aokiji. Aokiji frowned and turned back. Anything else? It's so troublesome. Luffy grinned. Admiral Aokiji, after all, you have bullied my crew, you have to give some explanation. Aokiji held his forehead, at this moment he just wanted to take a break and relax went. How about I apologize to you? Luffy chuckled. No need to apologize, I've been itching to show off my skills lately, why don't you ask Admiral Aokiji for some advice? If we don't have a good fight, how do you know how strong our faith is? Aokiji's face darkened when he heard that, and he said seriously. Do you really have to fight? Chopper and Robin were also a little worried. Luffy, really want to fight? Luffy gave them a reassuring look to comfort them, but the other crew members were not worried at all, but rather looked forward to it. Yes, Admiral Aokiji, let me learn from you. Luffy was full of fighting spirit. Aokiji was also a little helpless at this time. Ah, you want to fight me? Then come on, just stop when you are satisfied, and end it quickly. But before the fight starts, let the innocent refugees leave here first. Nami said. Speaking of which, there are indeed refugees on this island. As she spoke, several ragged refugees trembled out of the bushes. Luffy seconded. Well, let's solve the refugees' troubles first. Aokiji released an extremely cold air, 
freezing the sea surface, telling them to keep warm, and that they could reach the next inhabited island by walking on the ice road for seven days, and watch the refugees leave before returning. Aokiji has taken off his eye mask and changed his lazy attitude. Then, let's start. The battle is about to start. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.